Jazz dad, I couldn't find it yesterday. Ask no. dad, he'll know. No, no, the elephant name on here. Oh, it's frozen. Uh, what, what, what's the father name? Yeah. Hey there, Daisy Doodle. So Daisy has been, um, if you've been following, I'm so sorry. Daisy was starting to have contractions late last night. Um, early this morning, we usually watch for them. They usually start panting. She hasn't started panting yet, but um, I took her outside to go potty. She started nesting in here, digging her things around, and she squatted to go potty. And, but she didn't go potty, and it was really weird because she doesn't, she wouldn't normally do that in here. Um, I took her outside and um, she squatted over and over again with no potty that came out. Um, and right as I was about to pick her up to bring her back in, there was a big gush. I heard the, the bag break, and even though she was standing there bracing herself, and she even looked around. Um, and so I checked her, and of course, every. Um, it was like the very classical water breaking um, that you hear about, but uh, which that's the first time um, one of our moms has actually had like water break before labor. Usually we have um, all of the other, they um, start having contractions and get real clingy. And then the water will break oftentimes either like while they're coming out or um, we'll have to break the bag. Doodle. Can I see what's going on? Can I take a peek? You know what? We won't have a bubble with this one since her water broke. Well, the, um, there's no, no bubble. Not yet. Oh, but she's having a strong contraction right now, you poor thing. Oh. 
Uh, see what that's all about, Daisy Doodle. Okay. Mm, some water. Okay. Oh, there's a bunched up towel up from underneath you. Um, so while as we kind of wait for Daisy's labor to progress a little bit, we just prepare for the newborns and one of those things includes the heating pad. Um, initially, right after birth, they're unable to maintain their body temperature by themselves. And so if they're pretty much anything short, anything less than completely snuggling with mom, they need to have heating pad. Oh, there comes the panting. Now she's panting, which means the puppy will be here soon. This is just one of those piddle pads to keep the heating pad safe from um, delivery fluids. And we have lots of towels to absorb um, fluids and blood and that kind of thing and also so that mom can kind of nest and get cozy kind of helps it relieve some of her anxiety and stress when she can channel those instincts to prepare but I think we mentioned um, uh, there we go. Uh, I think we mentioned that um, Daisy's labors or labor her other the one other labor she had um, her labor, she was real quiet the whole early labor, and we didn't even realize she was in labor until she jumped off the bed and started pushing out a puppy. Um, and she thought she had to go poop, so she was headed towards the potty pan. Um, poor thing. But, so at least this time around, we were prepared, knowing that she's very stoic with her discomfort. She doesn't show a lot of signs. And so yesterday, we kind of picked up that she was having contractions infrequently but she was having them um and dogs at least in our experience don't really have an equivalent brexton hicks sort of contraction um in fact their small contractions are so small that they're not even um they're not even palpable by your hands so um when we were able to feel her contractions uh that's kind of what told us that labor was imminent we thought she might start having them overnight, but fortunately we were able to, um, she was able to hold off till morning and Drew and I were able to um, focus on Robin's puppies and Orange. 
Mr. Orange. Hi there, Nisho. Hoping and praying for an easy labor. Thank you. Uh oh. You okay, Daisy Doodle? It's almost like she's trying to hide that she's in labor. Because <laughs> she's pants once in a while and then she realizes it and stops. Oh, okay. Oh, yes, right here. Um, there's another extension cord over there. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but she's starting to let out these little, very, very quiet little whines. Uh, those usually coincide with her contractions. Daisy's having her baby. Okay, sweetie pie. Aww, baby. What's the matter? Mm -hmm. You okay? You and Robin both like that spot, huh? I'm sorry. Dad's gonna get them to stop barking. And they'll be happy. You're such a good girl. So sweetie. So good boy. Remy's collar. Remy's collar's gone. Remy's collar's gone? Yeah. No. She doesn't have it on. Did Bradley take it off? I don't know. Maybe on the last thing I've seen. Oh, maybe did he take Remy upstairs to snuggle um, this morning? I know that, well, I know he wanted to sleep with her last night, but I don't know if he remembered to grab her. Daisy. Oh, you look so miserable. Oh, Daisy. I need to get out of the Sweetie, I'm not leaving you. 
I'm just trying to help Bella. It's okay, baby. Oh, this just broke my heart. Oh, Bella, watch out. Watch out, Bella. Oh, yeah. Here, you can go up to here. That's where you can. But, um. Do you know where a, a dry erase marker is? Um, we have a whole bunch in the closet. If you, right inside the closet here. Somebody said, uh, every time Elizabeth steps away from it, Daisy starts to cry. It breaks my heart when I hear her cry. It breaks my heart. Oh, can you see, like, her highlights? She's got these, I, I call them highlights, but she's got a little bit of the brown in her ears, and to me they look like, or low lights, I guess they would be. Um, I think it's so pretty. So if you saw Robin, um, as she was gearing up to have her babies, um, you might be able to tell the difference that we were talking about when um, okay. we were describing Daisy as kind of hiding her emotion and being very stoic with the discomforts of labor because Robin was all over the place um, and Daisy is not so anim animated, not nearly as much as Robin. but. Daisy, huh? What would help? You want pets? Yeah. Let me shut the door there You okay? You okay? You wanna come here? You come here so I can take a look? You come here? Come here. Come on. Oh, she's shaking. Oh yeah, that's okay. Okay, sweetie. Once this first puppy comes out, you're gonna feel a lot better. The first puppy is the worst part. His task Robin. I came over and she was like trembling. And then I looked a little closer and she was having a pretty hard contraction. It's okay. It's okay, baby. Oh, you're 
scratch. We've been super lucky with Daisy and her ears. She's got the cleanest ears just I've ever seen in a cavalier. Well, like even when we clean her ears, like there's not much there's that not much comes to, out. Yeah, to get it. Yeah, it's... So, Cindy, I hope that Louie has yeah. uh, inherits um, Daisy's awesome ears because it's real. It's really nice not having to really worry about them. There's, I mean, they're just they're they're so clean that they don't have really an opportunity to build up. Like naturally, they're naturally clean. We don't we don't, yeah, we don't. have to dig a bunch of grodiness out. Just a little bit of extra once in a while, huh? And she's like, ears are the last thing I care about right now. I don't care about my ears. I want to stop this ouchie in my belly. You want to talk to us? You want to come here? You want to come here? It's okay. Yeah. Her, her whining is so sad. Do we have mediums? No. Sorry. But uh, it feel too baggy. Yeah. It'll work. It works. They go on, right? That's what's important. One last minute. <laughs> oh wait, I need, I need to reshuffle this. Is the baby coming? There you go. Oh, it's still getting this. Oh geez, it's not even 10 o'clock. I can't believe like three hours went by this morning and I still thought it was Friday. <laughs> like yeah. I woke up, like went about you know five. Yes. I helped Bella back to bed, oh. let the dogs out, and was waiting for Bradley to come down to oh. get ready for the bus. It's probably the leg asleep. It's starting to add up. Which is funny because we're only one weekend and we've got a whole hurler to... Well, yeah. Uh, we are one week in and have the more on the way. Remember, we said it's going to double up our workload. Oh, sweetie. Oh, you're breaking my heart, honey. I don't know if you want me to pet you or if you don't want to be touched. I wish I knew. You don't seem like you really want to be touched. It's okay, baby. It's okay. Come here. It's okay. It's okay. Come here. It's okay. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. Yes, you're a good girl. You're a good girl. Can you see what's going on? Can you see where you're at? Hmm? Sleepy down 
He's such a good girl. Puppy is not, not crying yet. So in these, in this sort of early phase, um, we could just focus on keeping mom as calm as we can and anxiety free as we can, keep the noise to um, an absolute minimum. We prefer, we prefer they give birth while our kids are at school, but of course, you know, how that goes. So, um, Especially, I feel like, I think the first puppy, it's, once they seem to have the first puppy, it's kind of easier going than that. But before the first puppy, I think when they don't really quite yet understand what's going on, um, they tend to be, I think they tend to be a little more, more stressed. Um, hold on one second. Drew. Yes, I do. There's gonna be plenty of time to wait if you wanna go like have something to eat. Okay. Because there's like puppy's not even crying yet. She's just she doesn't know what's going on. She's uncomfortable and whiny basically. Very whiny. So yeah, very when, you, when you said she's about to, um, I thought you said she has had to. Well, no. i when I say about to, I mean like she's in active labor. Oh no, uh, I like misheard what you said. Yeah, it'll be a good time. Can I make more flowers for that? Can I make more flowers? We don't have the right ingredients. Uh, I know, but we're out of vanilla, so. It's okay, sweetie. Here, hold on. Let me try these. I think that was the last one. Can you see me? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, 
Okay, go get something to eat, and um, I'll come get you if anything changes. suspected that, um, you know, Robin's puppies, they were, you know, advanced through the birth canal and, um, they would advance through the birth canal and then, um, kind of take a minute to come out. Daisies have a tendency to kind of spit out. Just want to take a peek, sweetie. I'm just taking a peek. Okay, sweetie. Sweetie. Now stay close to you. I'm not leaving you. I know, it doesn't feel good. You want some water? Please, Doodle. Where are you going? You're not pushing out this puppy somewhere else. I don't know where you're planning to go, but... somewhere else. You have the baby here where it's safe. Yeah, I know. Okay, sweetie. Come here, Daisy Doodle.
so Daisy, I think we've um, shared with many of you that Daisy is, she's much different from Robin in that she's, um, she is one of those dogs that like picks a person and um, she picked me. And so she's got, um, she gets separation anxiety and then of course when she's not feeling well she gets extra clingy and they're already extra clingy when um, they're pregnant and it's even more so when they're in labor. Um, as you can see, Cindy noticed that um, Daisy is not happy when, when her source of comfort, when I walk away, when her source of comfort is not nearby, she doesn't do as well. She doesn't cope as well. Um, Cavaliers, and I seem, I found, are like very feeling dogs. Um, they're very perceptive, I guess is um, the best way to put it. Here we got Daisy Doodle. You got a new spot on it? Did you like the spot that I had on? It's okay, sweetie. Oni show asking for um, uh, asking about puppy orange. He's kind of about um, I don't want to say the same. I would say he's probably doing a little bit better. Um, he's he put on quite a bit of weight, kind of like we started weighing him like every eight hours, so that we could make changes more quickly if we needed to um and his weight was steadily gaining um pretty much ever since we noticed that he had dropped quite a bit so um he's doing pretty well in that regard i do think that he has something bigger going on um that we'll have to that we'll have to figure out. I know, baby. I know, it's okay. Um, I think it was you, Cindy, asked if we were surprised that she went all night. Um, not too surprised, just because she's, um, she's so stoic and she, hide, she hides everything so well that, um, you know, it's kind of luck that we caught those obvious labor signs um, that she couldn't hide. Because um, Daisy's, when when she had Louie, when she pushed out that litter, once they started, um, like once that first one comes out uh, and then she starts pushing the others, like Robin, they kind of sat in the birth canal for 10 minutes, 15 minutes with Daisy. Once one engages and she, she just has to give it like one good push and, and the puppy's out. And so her delivery, I expect to go a little bit easier than Robin's did. Uh, oh, good morning, Christine. What's in a plant? Hi to Hey It Is Me, SS, she's not had any yet, we're waiting on the first one. And hi there baby bear, and Amy, Amy Pace. Yep, we're waiting on the first one. She's been such a trooper she she slept all through the night she woke me up once which is very unusual for her so um I, I mean I wasn't surprised last night since we knew that she was having early labor 
but um, it was good to know that things were kind of moving along. Is I mean, you know, for instance, usually they're panting pretty heavily at this stage, and she only does it once every, once every so often. Come here. You want to lay down? Okay. You're such a big girl. You're such a big girl. What do you smell? Oh, I think that's where your your water hit me when <laughs> I picked you up. Your water broke. It's a real strong one. It's okay, sweetie. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm here with you. We'll do this together. See what's going on? Hmm. Yeah, I know. I know. Once we get that first one out, it's all easier going from there. You know, generally speaking, as people, when we're in labor, we just have to get to that final push and we push that baby out and then it's all a happy and joy and celebration after that. For most. For singleton moms. But, I mean, I feel for those dogs that have 14 or 16 puppies. She's, she's listening, can, she listens quietly. You can hear her dogs barking outside. It's okay, ignore them, ignore them, ignore them. You're a good girl, yeah. You're a very good girl. You're a very good girl, and she was your heart. You're a very good girl. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Can I check on your baby? Can I get a little look-see? So usually she's like crawling up into my lap and so because she's not I don't want to like touch her too much because I don't think she wants to be touched really. It's okay. But I would like to take a look. those puppies coming down. Okay. That's all I wanted. Hi, Sabrina. You're watching from Italy? Well, thanks for joining us. Um, hi, Shalini. Shalini says hi to Daisy. Yep, she is nearly ready to have her puppies. She's um, she's in active labor, having real strong contractions. Um, she's not coping with them too well. She's not happy about it. She's a good girl. Nice girl. You want belly rubs? Is those will make you happy? We'll do more belly rubs. I'll do belly rubs all day long if that helps. I know they're not as good with the gloves. I know. Breaking my heart. I'm breaking my heart.
Shalini, yes, Daisy is very, very petite. She, um, her pre-pregnancy weight is about 12 pounds soaking wet. Um, and even pregnant, I weighed her yesterday, full-term pregnant, she was 15 pounds on the nose. So, um, she's a little, she's a little girl. So Michelle, she's, I mean, she's not really in pain. It's more just discomfort um, for dogs. Labor isn't as um, painful, I guess, as it is for people. Um, because the, the body, um, I'm trying to work what I'm, what I want to say. Um, The body knows it needs to pace itself, that it's got more. Um, and dogs don't experience, they don't perceive pain in quite the same way that we do. Um, so a lot of her whining um, is like from anxiety and stress. It's not necessarily just from pain. She, she wants up on the bed. sweetie. What's going on? Mm -hmm. No, you're not going to have them on the bed. <laughs> you're not going to say. You're not having Daisy on the bed. Daisy's lying to bed. It's okay, sweetie. I guess like, um, you know how you can, you hear your dogs whine for you, like when you're leaving or coming home? Um, It's easy as people, when we know she's in labor, to just kind of assume that the whining is like, oh, it hurts. Um, but um, the whining is usually more attributed to, um, it's usually more attributed to her anxiety about what's going on and needing comfort. Thank you. That's, uh, I did what the, I need you a mocha again. Since you like that so much. You want to pull up the, the live chat because I can't really stay on top of it. Daisy is super whiny. She's what? She's super whiny. Oh, super. I, I think a, a lot of people think it's it, it, like it means that she's in pain. So I was trying to, I was trying to reassure them. You're a little girl. You're a very good girl. It's okay. I 
no, this is all so weird and different. This is not how you plan to spend your Saturday, is it? Can you hang tight for just a second? Do your thing, do your thing, ignore me. I think you're happier when I'm not in the pool with you. So I'm gonna stay out here, okay? You're a good girl. That's all. Just a little bit. Oh, May says, Oh, Daisy Doodle, you're doing great. Increasing our weight taking to three times a day so we could intervene earlier. And then um, that basically he had gained, and we saw through those weights that he had gained kind of throughout. Right. So that's all I told him. Okay. Yeah. It's, so if you want to go ahead. No, it's, uh, that's all I was going to say was that he uh, was up late last night. I think everybody saw me give him the feeding at 1 a.m. on our old people that were all on anyway. Hey baby, you're doing great. Good girl, Daisy. You're a good girl. A good girl. Okay. falling out as I was trying to check her. It's okay, 
my baby girl. Hey, sweetie, you're doing great. You're doing such a good job. And see if with you, um, how old is Daisy? Daisy is two and a half. Um, or no, Daisy's three. I'm sorry. Um, uh, so anyway, um, but what I was going to say is, um, uh, my train of thought. Um, uh, what was it? <laughs> it was something about uh, her laboring. Um, Oh, hey, it's me. Okay. I'm back. Um, hey. And Nessa, thank you for the good vibes. commented coffee and reminded me of my coffee. <laughs> so whoever wrote coffee, thank you for that. First, I thought I felt um, butt bone. Yeah. You've done, you've done this before. It's okay. Yeah. Good girl. And so, like in these, um, these, I guess the early stages of labor before she's produced any puppies um, like if, you, if there's any point where you can't hear us it's because we're trying to talk quietly and softly we're trying to keep the stress down um, you know if she starts hearing shouting from the kids down in the living room then um, it'll just it'll interrupt the whole flow if she's got if she's focused or concentrating or thinking um, it can it can stall things um, we've had We've had um, a birth attended in the past, and this was somebody that the dogs didn't know very well, and um, we believe that because uh, that particular labor had a, a pretty significant stall kind of in the middle of it, and we think it was because we had an unfamiliar person around. And so, because once we, once we fixed that, then everything resumed as expected. Yeah. So, um, yeah, she's still for forever. Yeah, if you see us like being a little, um, I guess strict of <laughs> like with volume yeah. and chaos in our house, that's why we're just trying to keep it as as quiet and peaceful for Daisy as we can. Okay. Um, usually once they get that first puppy out and they're like, oh, okay, I'm having puppies, this is what I need to do, okay, got it then it's pretty easy going from there. Um, it seems to be that it's like when they go into labor and they start, they feel that, um, uh, they feel that like need to push that feels like they need to poop. And <laughs> so they're still kind of confused. Like she's probably wondering why this is still going on. <laughs> um, but so many times. when a puppy comes out and they see that it's not a poop 
and it's crying, then, um, like you'll probably, uh, if you if you stick around and have an opportunity to see it, you probably won't see her whine at us as much. You'll see her start um, turning a little more inward and kind of focusing and pushing. And she'll be very focused on her puppies too. She's not a person. It doesn't, it's not like with people. Because people are upright. I'm having gravity help. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so tired. So oh, no, not that. It's just uh, you, you and your little... My little... You're just... My old wives' tales? Yes, you and your... It's like it is doing that thing where it's like her. It's wrapping around all the puppies. Yeah, it's wrapping around the puppies, and it's like they're saran wrapped, and you can just yeah, you can see it. That's when she starts doing this again. Yeah. She's like, oh gosh. It's kind of so like right now for a little bit of some more perspective, some more context. Um, when she's already pushed out one puppy. All those other puppies are lining up and engaging as that puppy's been pushed out. Whereas on this first puppy, nobody's been pushed out. The The plug hasn't been pulled, so to speak. Yeah. And so um, that's why there's it's a little bit... There seems that the, the labor ahead of puppy number one is usually a little more difficult than the labor... The labor's ahead of puppies two and the ones that follow. If you watched um, Robin's delivery, you might remember her taking naps um, in between puppies. And before labor, she would take little like 10 minute, 10 minute um, snoozes. I don't know how they're able to do it because it's like they'll be stressed and um, nesting and anxious. And then they, it's like they're able to just shut everything off and get a 10 minute sleep in so it's good for them so that's I'm glad that they're able to do it but hopefully this nap will help give her a little bit of energy and we'll see some more progress oh that reminds me I'm gonna I'm gonna call her call the vet and let her know the puppies are coming
talk to Dr. John. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. That's a big one. That's a big one. Luckily, once they start um, pushing out, they usually have, um, like, Daisy's first litter, I think she got them out within, like, three hours. And so you might have five hours of laboring, this intense sort of um, contractions and laboring. And then, um, so you... you spend a bunch of time kind of doing this comforting them and just encouraging labor to come or not labor but encouraging the puppies to come and then um so that's probably about more than half of the labor and then once puppy number one comes out then um after that we start we see you know then usually two will follow like an hour or so afterward then we'll um either another follow or they'll take a break, but they usually come out in like spurts where like one bull will have one, two, and three, and then she'll kind of take a snooze and then have three and four, take a snooze and then have a five and six and do all of that within about three hours. Um, that's usually kind of like an outline of how it goes. And then um, it's just a matter of how much time in between and how much time um, each puppy takes and of course making sure everybody is healthy and all those other little things that we got to um, make sure we monitor and stay on top of. It's kind of like getting to the airport where you rush around all morning trying to get ready and hurry up and leave and then you get there and then you did all this hurrying up just to get there and wait. And so we're doing all of this. Like we want to be ready so that if the puppy comes anytime, we're completely ready. But um, we might wait 30 minutes and we might wait eight hours. We usually wait, it's probably like what, two hours, two, three hours of like honest contractions. And then we see the first puppy. Drew? Drew? Would you agree that it's probably about two or three hours in between when we see the first real contractions and then the first puppy? Yeah, usually. Probably about two or three hours? Yeah, I'm sure we're probably about two hours away from and then the first puppy. Hopefully the puppy will advance while she's napping because we'll see that a lot of times where they'll relax and when they're not all tense and active, um, especially if they're snoozing, their body's able to kind of uh, move things along because they're not, they're not tense and fighting it and um, things can kind of go, can operate the way that they're supposed to since we don't have confused little Daisy trying to <laughs> fight it. She's such a good girl. I love this little dog so much. You do love that Daisy, people. I've always loved her size, even when she was 18 days old when we first saw her. She was, she was like itty bitty. Yeah, she was so itty bitty. 
and you know she was a lot like how her puppies are now where she was teeny tiny and should have been like a sickly runt but uh, she was active, active and, and strong. energetic And Daisy uh, had, had to have had a really good, I mean, we do know that she had a really good mom because her, um, she knows, she knows how to, her first litter, she probably, she expected her to be a little more, to act a little more green than she did, but she caught on pretty quickly. And so we attribute that to <clears throat> having a really good mom. And so then when she has her second litter and once she pops out this first puppy and takes stock and realizes that she's having puppies, um, she'll revert right, but she'll remember all those things that she had already known and then plus the things that she had learned and then it'll all come right back to her and that's why you'll, you'll see her whining at us a little bit less because suddenly everything will be more familiar and she won't feel as much anxiety. But right now she's just kind of like, what the heck is this all about? She hears like a dog bark outside, even like in the distance. She's like sitting there whining at me. She's completely, she turns very still. still. She perks her ears and. Huh. Wonder if she's like me. So, like, if somebody so much as mows the lawn, it might. <laughs> it's still her labor. Oh, crap, yeah, I need to mow the lawn today. Maybe tomorrow. I think it'll be fine to wait till tomorrow. She looks so sweet. Like I don't wanna. Yeah. I don't wanna disturb her or do anything. Robins. Since Daisy's snoozing, I thought I'd catch up on some of the comments. Um, uh, good morning, Memphis 10. Um, Daisy and Robin have chatted. Uh, it went okay, not great, so we're just easing them back in. Um, of course, Daisy being still pregnant, it's um, a little... Still not quite, they're not back to like regular, normal. Um, but hi Waffle, thanks for the prayers. Uh, Shalini says I'm small too, my fella calls me a little shrimp. 
Um, she's not seen Robin's puppies there um, when they're this young. We don't want to. We don't want to. Um, we don't want to. Pretty much, there's there's really there's not um, much to gain from bringing Daisy around Robin's puppies at their age, and it's inviting some risk. So um, we don't we don't introduce them to puppies until we're like actively socializing them. Puppy number one is is making its way um, to the birth canal, pretty close to crowning. Um, yeah, let's, they tried to talk. Daisy's beautiful. How old is she? She Daisy just turned three. She turned three over the summer. Uh, when did he, we get her? We got her when she was a puppy. When she was eight weeks. How oh, made you guys go with the names Daisy and Robin? How you guys name your own dogs if there is a process? So um, Daisy, um, her breeder actually named her Daisy, and I loved the name. I thought it was great. And um, same goes for Robin, actually. And we've got a puppy crowning. Girls, a little tricolor. Good job. What a good girl. It's a beautiful little baby. It's a beautiful little baby. What a good job, Daisy Doodle. What a good job. Daisy's getting a little, a little ahead of herself. We're still trying to get the, trying to get, puppy's still trying to come out and Daisy's just a little excited. But now she, now she knows what's going on and now um, you, you'll probably notice a big shift in her demeanor. Come on, it's a beautiful little baby. It's a beautiful little baby. What a beautiful little baby. Oh, I can't wait to show you guys. We just want to let mom do her thing. We, we try to, um, when they're born, we make sure mom um, gets the bag off of the, the baby's face right away um, and gets the cord make sure she's got those important things so that if she doesn't we can kind of like reach in there and and grab the bag and um get things moving so that oh, baby's got a really short cord your daisy doodle Can you guys see him? I'm not sure if we're, we got a boy or a girl. So just your daisy doodle. What a pretty baby, Daisy Doodle. What a pretty baby. So 
11 or I'm sorry about 10:50 time is it's like 10:53 Uh, what breed is she? These are Cavalier, Cavalier King Charles Spaniels. It's a little girl. Um, so something, something we learned when we began breeding and, uh, is that when we cut the cords, if you can't just cut them or they will bleed excessively, you have to smash them. And so first you gotta, or crush them, at least in the spot that you're going to cut it. Um, because if you, if you don't crush it, then it will bleed excessively. I'm not quite sure why. Um, I just know that it's has something to do with um, it being related to kind of the way the moms, you know, they're not giving it a nice, clean, pretty cut with their teeth. They're just chopping it, chomping it down. Oh, she's so cute. Scale. Do I have her scale? Oh, no, I do. Wait, no. Paper, I don't have a scale. And so we also want to be sure we get their birth weights before they even start eating. Um, they're wet, so I mean the moisture is gonna make it a little inaccurate, but it's the most accurate we can make it because we don't want to we don't want to include the weight of the milk. And she's 168, which for a Cavalier puppy is perfect. Especially daisies, they tend to be on the smaller side. So 168 for daisy, 168 grams um, is really, really good. If you guys, if any of you have been following Robin's litter, Mr. Gray, Mr. Gray Goose was born at 126, um, but he's 220 something now. Um, and Mr. Orange, um, Mr. Orange was born at 144, but he's like 138 right now. Okay, so um, she was 168 at 11.53. Female try. Yeah, so the mom, she does naturally bite through the cord, um, and it's, um, it's like they run on instinct very, very well. Uh, sorry, I'm gonna be able to talk to you. <laughs> um, they run on instinct really, really well, but, um, sometimes kind of what happens, especially when we've got, um, six or seven, when she's pushed out six or seven puppies, um, they're... They come out as these um, smooth, wet little capsules that are wrapped in that really slick bag. And so at first she, she kind of pulls her lips back and just uses her teeth to, to pick at the bag so that she can break the bag without hurting the puppy. Um, but then once she breaks the bag, 
um, she licks, 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 and she's, as she's licking, she's kind of feeling for where the cord is pulling, and um, that instinct to drive them to uh, chomp at the cord will kind of encourage them to chomp at anything that basically is sticking out. And so we've, that's part of why we have just make sure that they're chewing on the right things because we've caught them like nibbling on their toes or nibbling on their ears because they'll be looking at them and see, oh, this is, this is jutting out. We need to trim this back a little bit thinking it's the cord and um, they'll start uh, not nibbling on something else. And then the other thing that they might do is they'll get overly focused on the cord. And so they'll just keep biting it back further and further and further. And so we have to just let mom know like, hey mom, it's okay, you got it, you got the cord. Like, let's lick, our, let's lick her face now, mom. And so it's almost like they get hyper-focused on the cord. And because, you know, their instincts um, help, they, their instincts compel them to do these things, but um, their instincts don't then tell them like, okay, that was enough, or okay, we're good now. Their instincts just keep telling them to keep looking, keep licking, keep, you know, look, 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 find, find, find. Um, but there's our first little baby. Our first little baby girl. And so she's a little tricolor, little tricolor cavalier. You can see how um, mom is watching. Can you see mom watching very intently? Oh, and she's <laughs> nibbling on my finger, which means she's looking to nurse. <laughs> she's got a suck on my, she had a latch on my finger. So we're gonna put her up to mom. And then as, as she nurses, that's gonna release oxytocin, and then oxytocin helps um, helps her contractions, it helps make the ones she's having stronger, and helps encourage them to come more frequently, and it helps bring the the next puppies. And it's also it's also important for the puppy herself to get that milk early on. It's um, there's this sort of transitional period. Here, Daisy, here, let her, let her get on a nipple. Um, because they, you know, one moment they're fetuses, another, another moment they're puppies, and there's this transitional period, and human babies go through it too, where um, their bodies, uh, I wish I could remember the name of it, there's an actual term for this transitional period in between like the from prenatal to neonatal um any medical people any uh, OBGYNs or OB nurses if anybody can recall that term throw it out there for me um, but there's it's basically you know because up until this um up until delivery, their mom has been supporting them completely. And um, so as soon as they come out and take their first breath, that's when their heart, their lungs all take over. And so that that moment happens in an instant, but the rest of their body begins going through all of this pro all these processes where it learns to take on everything, take on all the jobs and tasks of, of cleaning out, filtering the blood, um, that sort of thing. Hold on, Daisy. I just want to make sure she latches okay. Just want to make sure she latches. Oh, what a good little girl. It's usually kind of difficult for them to latch um, when they're 
when mom is still very pregnant because their pregnant belly is stretching everything out so much that um, there's nothing for them to really latch onto. All they can really get in their mouth is just like the, the tip of the nipple. And so it would help if, da if Daisy would lay back for me. Daisy Doodle, it's okay, sweetie. We're just gonna help her eat. We're just gonna help her eat. We're just gonna help her eat, sweetie. <laughs> she's trying. She's she's trying to do her way of getting her to nurse by kind of just dropping her belly on her. Can you guys hear that? Daisy's like, I already did my work, so uh, you can do the rest. Oh my gosh, this puppy is so cute. Now you want to lick her? You clean her? Just give her some love from mom for now. And then we'll latch her. Is Daisy a tricolor? Yeah, she's a tri. Daisy is a tricolor. Yeah. There, I hope that gives you guys a little bit better of a view. Daisy's being a little shy. Drew still doesn't even know we had a puppy, so I had to let him know. I know, and so does everyone on YouTube, but you guys don't. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I moved the camera, too, because Daisy's being a little shy. It really she is beautiful. She is beautiful? So She really she is. is. She is. I saw her at the party, too. It's, do we, uh, are we, okay? Oh, mother effer, that hurt. Oh, my God. You all right? Well, I hit this bone like straight against that solid wood. Oh my god, that hurts. <laughs> oh. 
and drew it was this she had the same thing as her first litter where she had the really short cord i forgot about that but oh, no. do you remember that yeah. with daisy's first litter yeah so the puppy came out and then she just like stopped coming out at her butt oh my gosh and so i had to kind of like um get her out enough that daisy could get to her cord i hear her oh oh my goodness <laughs> she's, she's so, so pretty pretty Oh my gosh, and she's feisty. She is. Holy cow, I can't believe, why didn't she like holler for us? Because I was birthing a baby, <sighs> and she came out fast. That's incredible. Way to go. Well, we were too busy talking about monkeys. <laughs> we were talking about monkeys? Yeah, we were talking about evolution and monkeys. And squids. Oh, yeah. Octopus, octopus. Oh, it's okay, baby. Oh, wow. Someone gave us uh, ten bucks. What? Yeah. Wow, that, that was whoever that was. That was really, really kind of you. The comic book G spot. <laughs> yeah, holy cow. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, comic book. Uh, dang. Has it come out yet? So that looks like a pretty healthy placenta. Yeah, that looks very healthy. So it's like that's it's not not green. Um, She's not interested in eating it though. But it will give her oxytocin and Come on, baby. Gotta eat that up. Yeah, come on. Yeah, the vet says like um, two is good and after that it might start upsetting her tummy. Yeah, that looks good. It's a, it's not for some reason, though, she doesn't want to eat it, which is, we need to turn this out. I was just looking at it just to see, because normally they... <laughs> She's not interested in that at all. Oh, that's, like, really strange. Well, her lack of interest. That, her, like... I don't know. I think I've never really been here. Oh, wait, is she having a contraction? Yeah, yeah she's having a contraction. That's what's going on. That's why she's like, oh, nothing. there's a puppy. Whoa! Holy cow! <laughs> <laughs> and that, okay. he came butt first. <laughs> Holy mackerel. It's okay, baby. It's okay. It's okay, sweetie. It's another tricolor. So she's, he came up butt first, so she's kind of aiming for his butt, and this is where we want to make sure we get to his face. Yeah, to get him clean. To get him, his sack opened and breathing. It's okay, baby. Because if, if she breaks it by his butt, she'll just keep licking and by his butt and won't move to the face. Oh my god, you're beautiful! It's another double sack. Oh. It's okay, baby. <clears throat> Good girl. Neat. Draw the rest of him out. Well, he's out. I just want to make. I want to help him with breathing and stuff. Come on, come on, guy. There you go, Daisy Doodle. Daisy. Come on, Doodle. Hey. Her. Here, and she's one sixty-eight. Nice. This is a, it's a boy. Boy. Yep. Oh my God, he's so cute. Yeah, that's cute. Daisy, you have such pretty puppies. Daisy does have adorable puppies. Come on, buddy. Hey, let's try you off. Come on. Wake up. Wakey, wakey. Welcome to the world. No more. Make him mad. <laughs> Come on. Oh, he's got a perfect. He has a perfect little oh. thumbprint. <laughs> Good girl. Munch it off. Munch it off. Yeah, I know. It's 
Good girl. Good girl. Get that. Yeah. <laughs> Good girl. Good. Yep. Hey, buddy. Welcome. I was explaining how if we don't, um, somebody was asking about, um, I can't remember what they asked, but I was explaining how um, she'll get like super focused on the, on cord, the cord, and if and we don't if stop, we stop her, her, she'll just yeah. keep chewing oh, it down. There she goes. Now she's eating them. She's what? like, sorry guys, I'm busy pushing out babies. God, yeah. I can't get to the placentas. Look at, he's sticking his little tongue out. Look at him, get He's like, what are you doing? That's so cute. It's like he's licking the air. <laughs> hey, buddy. Oh man, you are so stinking cute. Oh, they're both stinking cute. Hey, look. What? What am I looking at? The. Oh, oh, oh yeah, I didn't even look it's, on her. It's so s slight, like. Is he a blue merle? He's got just a tiny bit of merle. Is she? And... I, I think she is, because she's not jet black. No, she's pretty black. Uh, she's got maybe a little bit there, but it's very, very light. Oh my goodness gracious, you two so pretty. are so... Ta -da. Welcome to the world, little boy. Focus, focus camera. She's like so adorable. Now did you see the first one, the little girl? Mm, she's got the eyebrows too. Yeah, she's got the brown eyebrows. No. I see, or Daisy's like, wait, my, my puppies. Yeah, what was I thinking? Four puppies, because I think there's way more than two in here. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, he is so, he's got the, the, the prettiest, like, brown right on his cheek. Like, it does, it looks like blush. Like, he's, like, yeah. Aww. Can I see? <laughs> oh my god. It does look like blush. Yeah. <laughs> Holy smokes. Are we going oh, again already? Yep. There's a little bloom. Um, Man, rapid fire. Holy cow. I think I described at the beginning of this, you guys, that she just spits them out. <laughs> This is what I meant. <laughs> is that a blenum or is that a... It's a blenum. Hold on. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Don't sit on him. Probably should probably take a break after this. hope e so. Each of them has thumbprints. There we go. There's the rest of it. Oh, he's pretty. Is the heating pad on? It's a girl. It's a girl again. Heating pads on. Should I turn it on? Yeah. Yeah, yeah turn it on, please. What uh, temperature? All the way up. All the way up. So we have a little yeah. tri girl and a little blenum ooh, girl. Ooh, it's ooh, careful, a careful, Frankie careful. and a Frankie and a Billy. Be careful. Yeah. I usually what I've been doing is I've just been like holding it and then letting her get letting her go up to that point. Yeah. I wanted my, to get him breathing. Yeah. Or her breathing? Her. That's another her? Yeah. Yep, that's a girl. Look how cute she is. She's got those two. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. Daisy. You mm. have beautiful babies. You have beautiful babies. Oh my gosh. Look at that. I know. It's like. You, you see how I, yeah, her. It's. Her, it's, it's She's got like a. Her skin is the blenum too, like the or the chestnut. Well, no, I'm, I'm just saying like um, on her. See how it's like solid right there. Yeah, solid right there. She's got the white. white. Yeah, she has a, an actual spot on and her. And then she's head. got those two. Yeah. What's that noise? It's the this surge protector. That's clicking on the. Um. Can I read the comments? Uh, sure. Okay. Hold on, Bradley. Oh, yeah, yeah, hold on just a second. Yeah, let, us, the, let us, um... Let, actually, let us do that, bud, okay? Okay. Yeah. Sorry, dude, it's, it's kind of, like, I'm kind of busy at the moment. Yeah. So we have to pace ourselves. Oh my goodness. Dang, she got the cord, like, um, she split it really well, so it's not bleeding. It's just really long. It's, yeah, same with this one too. Like it's a nice, it's a uh, pretty cool anatomy lesson <laughs> yeah. if, if you're interested in in like fetal stuff because you can see all three vessels very clearly. You want to see me? Yeah. 
Oh, cool. So there's like the, the artery and um, the vein. And so all, yeah. all of those little tubes you see, that's what carries his blood and um, her heart cleans it or her heart pumps it through to have it cleaned and pumps it back and that's how his blood circulates. That's really cool. Isn't that cool? It's so clear I too. Keep calling her a him. <laughs> Can May, can you uh, turn the heating pad back on? I, did you hit that little what? boy? Yeah. Did you get his weight? No, I did not. Why was it not on there? Uh, she was like 142. That is amazing how Daisy just pushed them off. Yeah, she's like pop, pop, pop. Well, and when we got the afterbirth of her first, I thought she was pushing out one, and it turned out that she was. Yeah. It was just behind the afterbirth. Yeah. Here, come on, baby. Yeah. Daisy. So, if you, if any of you have been around, if you have been patient enough to hang out with us for a couple of hours now, um, you may remember me commenting on how once. Like the hardest part is just getting to that first puppy and you can see now kind of what I meant by like when you just got to pull the plug and then the <laughs> others follow quickly quickly and her belly's already down quite a bit um but after like two or three she'll she'll nurse them okay. and kind of take a little bit of break her body will give her some time to recuperate and then she'll push out um the next one sorry but no Oh, just hanging around. You gotta be up and moving. Little girl. You little girl. You sweet little girl. Hey, can you maybe get the rest of this? She also kind of reminds me of, um... Good girl. Of, uh... Good girl. Perfect. Know. Perfect. Good girl. You got it. Like, wasn't it Snow White? Oh, yeah. Uh, how many girls and how many boys are two, there? Two girls, one boy so far. No. Okay, that's, you're good, you're good. Now let's uh, get these, these wet. Uh, the wet towels up and out. Um, well, let's relocate her and puppies onto clean, we can yeah, clean spin spot. the tub. Yeah. Um, is there a wet spot over here? No. Oh. Okay, that's good. You just, I would just pick lift them. Pick, them. Pick, <laughs> pick everything up? Yeah, just pick them up. What's going on over here? Oops, sorry, sweetie. It's okay, they're coming. They're coming yeah. over. Yeah. Let's see if they can nurse. A quick peek, and then we'll put them down with Mama. I'm gonna spin this though, so that. Yeah, let me jump out. Or let me get these. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of fluid. Yeah, there's a lot of fluid on this one. This one too. Hey, may, oh, may, would you mind taking those and putting them in the, um, in the laundry room? Laundry room? Yeah, I take them all in the laundry room because, um, actually, Daisy is not in the. Is there dogs in there? No, there's no, no dogs in there right now. That's why it was always making so much noise. It was dragging that. Hi, Bella. Oh. <laughs> what, Bella? Yeah, gum. She wants gum. Gum? Yeah, sure. Do you know where your gum is? What, Bella? I'm the cherry one. The cherry one? I don't know what you're talking about. The fruit one. I, no, I don't think we have any fruit. So he kind of looks no, like the a fruit one. It does. Bella, I don't... 
No where the fruit belt is. Like a toady or an orbit. He does, yeah. They're all so pretty, Daisy Doodle. Beautiful, beautiful puppies, Daisy. She did a good job. She keeps them really, really clean. She really does. Yeah. All right, go ahead and there we go. She's like a queen freak about her babies. So you can see where, um, you can see where, do we have sponsors? No, we don't, we don't do sponsors or things like that. Um, if you, if you see like a brand of something in here, like Coke, we're not being paid by Coke. That's just me and my bad Coke habit. Not the drug Coke, <laughs> the, the, the Coca-Cola. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, um, so I just wanted to show you the cord. I was talking about how the mom, she'll like her goal. One of their instincts is to just to get that cord down nice and um, close to their body. And so this is like the ideal length, but even with this amount of length, she will keep biting it until she's down to the skin and you need a little bit of space for it to dry up and, yeah. and heal over, so. Yeah, you don't want to let them just go crazy. Go to town, yeah. yeah. Cause they will go to town. They'll go to town and then the puppies will bleed. Yeah. And uh, Daisy is really, really good about, um, you'll see her oftentimes, she will stand up and do a little spin and then plop right back down on top of the, the babies because um, that's how they bring their, that's good, that's how they bring their their nipples to them to feed. Um, they're just not as efficient as us humans. And so they just kind of like, it looks like they're sitting on them, but they're really not. They're usually a little bit off to the side. She's so, she's so sweet. She's just like holding them. Oh, she? Yeah. So are, they, are they trying to nurse? They're, well, they're not nursing. I don't know what I was going to try to work on, but it, I can't get over how cute that is because she's just like snuggling them. Is she doing the thing where she like uh, protects them with yeah, her head? Yeah, that is what she's doing. She's like holding herself over them. Oh my goodness, holy smokes. Um, I'll go back a little bit. Amy Pace said she's not in pain, she's uncomfortable. I don't know if you saw that. That's, that was, uh, thank you, Amy. That was a very good uh, oh, yeah, clarification, that. was that she's, yeah, she's not in pain, she's just uncomfortable in having to, to do her birthing. Um, I feel very sorry for you. I don't know what that's all about. Uh, Annette Decker was checking in on Daisy and Right now, we've got two girls and one boy. No. Memphis 10. Hey, Memphis 10. Nice to see you again. Uh, morning, Red Barn Cavaliers. Have Daisy and Robin chatted since Robin? Oh, yeah. I, I've her? been through those, I think. Oh, okay. Because I, I talked about how the uh, puppies are like a little young. And... Yeah, blessings from the UK. Daisy's really good at hiding from the camera. She's always got her face turned. Yeah. Um, Ariana Baker asks, when did you get her? I think. Oh, yeah, I answered that. You answered that one? Okay. Yeah. And, uh, I, I explained that um, we got them when they were, like, first. We, actually, um, to be, be even more clear, um, I think it was Ariana, um, we, got, we, got, we got them at eight weeks, but we picked them out when they were... Um, born pretty much yeah um she asked what breed is she oh yeah, yeah. you got that one too you yeah. did? okay yeah. it's been like an hour so oh geez really yeah i must have really scrolled back oh that's right there's the um okay let's get these guys feeding because they need to they need to feed it's very important very important daisy doodle i know you don't want to but yeah, baby. come here baby come right relax they with need me. some of that precious precious milk 
Um, let's Sweet pie. see. Uh, Ariana Baker asks, when did you start the ch this channel? Um, did you ask that? Or did you answer that one? Uh, I didn't answer. We, we started, um, streaming, like, more, um, routinely. Yeah. Um, just oh. this summer. We started yeah. the channel to, like, upload videos for families, um, like, last winter. Yeah, last winter we, we were just kind of doing like we would shoot videos. Yeah, trying to find a way to, sh um, um, to sh share them. Yeah, we wanted to share videos and stuff with families. Without having to send a million. Yeah, without sending out emails or text messages or whatever. So uh, YouTube was the easiest way to to um, share video of uh, you know, newborn puppies with the people that were adopting them. Um and then that was when we began streaming because we really, we learned that, um, you know, it's nice for families to be able to check in on their puppies on their own time. And so when we just have, kind of have this, the camera focused where they spend the majority of their time, um, families are able to kind of see how they're doing and what's going on. And, um, it's just a really nice, um, feature to have, especially when we, already um we encourage families to come visit uh every week to spend time with their puppy and if they're far away to facetime and so kind of to fill in those gaps is what the live stream is intended for natalie gardano says oh yeah definitely 100 percent true i have a black and tan boy who we can't take in uh, a car ride because the second we leave he has a meltdown and we are afraid someone would call PETA <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty funny that's funny <laughs> poor guy little miss over here is just going to chowing, town chowing, chowing, chowing down awesome these other two just want to sleep. They're like, screw this growing up thing. I'm not doing this. Uh, I decline. Denise Passetti says, I would love to have a doggy that looks just like Daisy. She is just lovely. God Aww. bless her. And thank you so much, Denise. That's very kind of you. Um, let's see. A lot of uh, the little puppy sounds are so cute. <laughs> That was actually one of the first things we realized um, when we were first running the streams for our families. Um, here comes a puppy. Oh, when goodness, we were first running the streams for our families, we found that leaving it muted really compromised the quality of the stream. Yeah, so, it wasn't as much fun. <laughs> people, people. Oh man, you are beautiful. Another be beautiful one. Another beautiful try. Oh, look at her. She's a good girl. She's just like focusing. Here comes just... Cute. Oh. oh my god, she's so pretty. Wait, I don't even know if she's a she. <laughs> I hope she's a she because she looks like a she. Is it? Can we uh, draw? Good girl, Daisy. You are. That was about the. She's just like easiest focusing. delivery. Can you... um, Let me see if I can just draw a little that good was girl. Quick. Good girl, Daisy. Good girl, Daisy. Do a little. Yeah, I'm just trying to get the cord so that it's not like. Girl, way to go, sweetheart. Wonderful job. Good girl, Daisy. Good Google. girl, Daisy. Oh, it's so pretty. That <laughs> is. Yeah, it's like jet black. <laughs> uh, Denise Passetti says, I'm crying, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Do you see how pretty this baby is? I, I can't see her. Little legs are in the way. <laughs> oh my gosh! Do we, do we know? Barely have her out of the. Do we know a boy or girl? Not yet. No. Uh, I'm trying to. Get she's got like off. 18 sacks on her. <laughs> oh my goodness, she's beautiful. That's a she. I don't. I don't oh, know. I just keep calling her she because she looks like she. Let's see. Let's take a look. Dun, da, da, da. It's a boy. Ah, oh, boy! It's not a he. <laughs> it's a boy. But it is a beautiful boy. A beautiful boy. He is 
man. He is, oh, oh, he's so pretty. Oh, Look at that, the stripe down I, his I back. know. He's got that cool, like, stripe down his back. Like a towel, like a little can I have one of those towels. The material, the tissue that all this stuff is made tough. from is extremely tough. Tough, yeah. It's just we once tried to tear a placenta that was wrapped around one of the babies, and it was impossible to tear. We had to actually cut it, or um, we were we actually had, able to like slip it. Yeah, we had to cut. Or yeah, we we cut the bag and then slipped it down, uh, or like down to sides like a like a skirt. Yeah. Oh, you're so pretty. You're so pretty. Yeah, clean him up, clean him up, wake him up. You're a little one. Like littler than Mr. Orange. Oh, hey, buddy. Yep. And the goal here is to kind of anger them because kind of if we, you know, if we piss them off, they're going to be taking deeper, bigger breaths. They're going to be wanting mom for comfort and mom's going to, you know, stimulate them and yeah, hear them. And so their comfort when they're first delivered is not our priority. Our priority is, is life. <laughs> and for life, we need anger. <laughs> yeah. You got to make them angry. You got to make them frustrated. Frustrate them. And what I mean by frustrating is basically we just, you know, kind of like just like with humans, we rub him, rub his back, rub his back. We, um, we don't put him on the heating pad right away, but we do keep him, you know, in our hands and warm. See, so him doing that, each time he squeaks like that, he has to take a nice big, big deep breath, so... He's like, Mom, somebody's somebody's doing this to me and I don't like it. Which means it worked. <laughs> Got a lot of uh, um, precious. He mm, is. He, look at, oh, look at how color, pretty it, he is. Yeah, he's like he jet is black. That's so really awesome. Pretty. Oh, careful, sweetie. Don't it looks like much. he has an upside down dinosaur on his back. <laughs> Oh, oh my yeah, gosh, yeah. you're right, <laughs> May. Oh my goodness. Yeah, like that's the tail and the legs and then... I, uh, I see um, like a pterodactyl head right here and oh. then it's flying <laughs> oh, yeah. and there's its wings. I see what May's talking about where it's like his legs are yeah. here and then that's the big brontosaurus neck and then that's, that's its tail. I see one of the flying ones. Yeah, that's so This cool. is the head. It's so much black. He's so pretty. I know. Oh, Can you guys man. see that? That's I don't think we've had a, a puppy that's so dark before. He, and his precious little face. He is so handsome. Here, you want... Uh, I, I want Daisy to be able to... Clean him up. Yeah. Call him Blackjack. Blackjack? Ooh, yeah, I like that. Blackjack. Like that. Oh, um... Have we gotten... You got the weights for the last three? Um, yes. Or for the uh, last three. Um, I just need... I need... I need him. So. Uh, who was it? I think it was uh, Heather Spivak was saying that she was uh, taking down times and weights. Oh, thank you, Heather. That yeah. was oh, that's so nice of you because we usually try to do that, but with the live stream this time we haven't been able to. Yeah, she's one thirty-eight, so we need to make sure we monitor him. Yeah, one thirty-eight. Yeah, she said um, she's recording times and weights, so. Thank you, Heather. That's very, that's very that helpful, was, actually. That was yeah. so nice of you to yeah. start doing. I Thank say, you. That was probably five minutes ago now, so 11.40. I'm just guessing because I didn't know those ones, and <laughs> I'm glad to know that you've got them. No. Especially with these sudden deliveries where know, we just we pull up her leg and, and there's a puppy. There's a puppy there. You want to get that some more? Her delivery is fast. Yeah, no kidding. Was, like, it, was it fast last time? Wasn't this fast? Wasn't, yeah, it was not this fast. Yeah, I know that. Sure. So, girl boy, girl boy. 
paint book. Oh, wait, is that the... That's the girl. That's the girl? The girl is darker. Oh, do we want to grab collars? Um, oh, yeah. Collars. Yeah, May, could you grab the collars? Do you know where they are? Uh, They're up in the wardrobe in that oh, yeah. um, the that white yeah. plastic box. Yeah, they're in a white plastic box. They're probably inside that the big delivery box. Do you uh, know the delivery yeah. box I'm talking about? Hey, buddy. Blackjack. Oh, man. You are going to be a lady killer. <laughs> yes. Oh, my goodness. That is, that is so cool. It's so hard to look at them and picture giving them away right now. <laughs> I know. Because I just like want to keep, like I just look at them like, oh my God, I want to keep him. <laughs> Mom, you want to keep Edward? <laughs> and well, and when she was first born, before you guys even knew it, I was looking at her just like, oh, I'm going to keep you for Bella. <laughs> I'm going to keep you I'm for gonna forever. I'm going to keep you for like, she wants a little try. Oh, look. She wants a little try girl. So that's the Bella baby. We've got a lot of colors here. I guess the Bella Baby is the Blenheim. Yeah. But the May Baby is the Try. Yeah. Ooh, purple would look so good on the they Try. They would. You're right, May. Yeah, you are right about that. Uh, do we have a white one? I'd like to put a white one on Blackjack. Yeah. Yeah, we do. Or do we want to say white for a female? Do you want to put black uh, on Blackjack? Are we going to be able to see it? <laughs> that's it? I know, but that's my point, though, is like, because oh, we'll see um, where that line is. You'll see. It, right oh here. yeah okay and all then, right like, on yeah, his... put a black one on him because so. we don't have many girl colors left and white is one of them oh well, all the blacks are cut up all of them no no that's not right there's gotta be some um here you want to put this on little girl sure wait and which is the, the tri girl yeah the tri girl what are you doing? What are you trying? That's Blackjack right there. Right there. This little girl. This so these are the little, um, uh, you put these on them. Um, contrary to what many think, um, they're not for identification purposes. They're more for just uh, getting them used to having oh. the collars around their necks. Um, in the past, we went for one litter, we tried to experiment and we waited until they were about two weeks old <laughs> to put on like, um, we just put on regular training collars as opposed to these little Velcro ones. And um, they, it was such a night, it was the they, biggest mistake. Yeah, they hated having them on. And I mean, just like if, if anybody has ever had a dog that normally has never had a collar yeah, on. Yeah, that has never worn a collar and then all of a sudden you try to put a collar on them, they go nuts. They don't they don't like it. No, they and do not like it. that is the same for two week old puppies. <laughs> <laughs> and um, eight week old puppies and yeah. four month old dogs. Yeah. And, and so we uh we learned our lesson with that uh with that litter that as soon as they are born we should put collars on them so that they just kind of grow up being used to having collars on. And then you're putting purple, purple on, on, the first girl. on the first girl. Yeah. If I can get it on. Um, how up, uh, look. Oh, Blackjack. Oh, man. I'm he's... so surprised that she spit him out. When, it must be because he's so small. Because I was pretty certain she was going to take her break. I'm surprised. I'm kind of impressed with the uh, tri color to bottom ratio. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, this is. We had uh, how many tries with our first litter? Three? Toby, Doby, and Frankie. Yeah, three, and then two. No. Toby and Doby. Oh, let's see here. What were we got? Oopsies. Oh,
Oh, uh, Ariana, thank you so much for, for subbing. Um, we really appreciate that. We, uh, like Elizabeth was saying earlier, um, we initially made this channel for, um, you know, just to be able to share videos or do, you know, live, um, videos with, uh, people that were adopting, uh, puppies from us. Cause we've had, uh, folks from Nebraska and New Mexico and, you know, they, they aren't able to come and see the puppies, but they, you know, they contacted us and said that they wanted to adopt one. And so instead of like, you know, recording a video on our phones and then trying to email it or text it or whatever, um, we thought, Hey, why don't we try just using YouTube so that people can watch. And we, we can't believe where the channel has gone. We've gotten so much support from the community. Um, we can't believe that we've had so many people subscribe and enjoy the content. So thank you so much for subscribing. Uh, thank you to everybody who's watching and is, uh, you know, supporting uh, what we're doing. Some, you know, ethical breeding. Oh, man. Ugh, why? It feels like I get... Um, right I think we've kind of, um, throughout this whole journey of ours, we've kind of come to notice that there's, um, kind of in the, how do I say this? Like in the wake of like puppy mill awareness and rescue and shelter awareness, um, there has also been this wave of like, I don't know if I want to go so far as to call them extremists, <laughs> but um, we've learned that um, there's some have this sort of notion that um, if you right if now. you breed, then um, you're you're responsible or you are therefore an irresponsible breeder, yeah. um, and you know because we. We first went to rescues and shelters for our cavaliers and dogs and um, Hope, yeah hoping to find hoping to find the cavaliers at a rescue or a... but um you know we're we hate them just as much you see how how attentive we try to be during delivery and so um we the environment of puppy mills horrifies us and yeah so but like but my whole point though is that um you know if we're we want to get rid of those puppy mills and that sort of um practice of um or the cult that sort of culture of dog breeding and focus on um you know that we want to bring dogs into the industry for families to have as pets that have been raised for the express purpose of being great pets and so that's why we got our dogs from um that's why we got our dogs from good breeders who um show in like akc confirmation shows um so that we we know that they have been monitoring their dogs' hearts, they've been monitoring their patellas, they've been monitoring um, their hips, they've been uh, they've they've been testing everybody, and so um, we're not just like taking a chance on the the dogs we're getting. We're um, we sought out our dogs, and um, I've explained, and I'm, I'm probably repeating myself to many of you, but um, the reason so we like approach. We approached the the breeders um, that we got our dogs from, and you know they're they're breeding to better the breed for what they're doing for AKC. So they're looking for good markings, good structure, um, and you know, and of course, in that they want healthy too. And so Daisy, for instance, she's um, her great 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 yeah. <laughs> grandfather. I want to say, um, has a champion title. Um, and then Robin also has somebody in hers, but I don't, I can't, re I don't know. I always get the two mixed up, so I don't want to say for certain. And wasn't, one of them was, who was brought from England? Who was? Um, that was in Spike's line. Oh, okay. Anyway. Go ahead. Um, oh, I lost my train of thought. Um, oh, so, so we approached those breeders and, you know, so they're, they're matching, you, we plan um, these litters up to two years in advance because they're, um, we don't know when 
what the timing will look like. And so we just kind of know, all right, spring of 2024, this is, this is kind of what we're thinking, you know, based on where their cycles are at now, we can estimate about where they'll be down the line. It's okay, Daisy. Um, and so those show breeders, when they have their, they do similar things where they pair. In fact, they probably plan much further in advance, but, um, you know, when they have a puppy like Daisy in the litter, they're, they're bound to have, among all their puppies, one that just didn't hit the genetic um, uh, lottery. And so Daisy got those freckles that AKC doesn't really care for. And I'm not sure if it's an automatic disqualification or if it's just um, not going to win. Like, she's not going to have a career in confirmation. But her freckles on her face that I find to be one of the most endearing qualities about her um, basically make her a terrible show dog for AKC confirmation, but she has really good health and, um, all of her, her parents and her grandparents are all healthy. And so, um, we were able to, you know, we aren't breeding for the AKC show ring. And so the freckles are great for us. And even, you know, some of the puppies, they're not going to all come out like AKC perfect because we're breeding more for health and temperament and personality than we are for um, AKC perfection. And so, like, you'll see he's got two of the little thumbprints. And so those are just some things that we'll see once in a while. Um, but we're okay with that because we're okay with two thumbprints and um, no luxating patellas and... Uh, good heart and long, happy, healthy life. So that's kind of like the long, the long and short of kind of how we found our dogs and kind of where they come from. If you're wondering how we just kind of like just started having puppies one day, um, it all started because we were looking for a cavalier for an emotional support animal. And, um, the hunt was AKC perfectionist and everything. Yeah, that's exactly it. There's, um, and you'll even see there's this, um, um, we, we had all of our puppies are all papered. We paper every litter, but, um, the oftentimes like puppy mills, I don't know if you've ever been to like a pet land, they'll always say their puppies are papered and papering goes on such an honor system that, um, papering alone isn't evidence of any sort of health standard because papering doesn't guarantee that um, the breeder is even reporting the correct sire or, you know, and um, especially with AKC, they have all kinds of rules. Um, you know, they won't paper a litter if the mom's less than a year old, rightfully so. Um, and so that's not good for the puppy mill if, if they have a, a dam that gave birth um, and she wasn't quite a year, then, you know, what are they going to do? They're probably going to put a different dog down. Is that a puppy coming up? Yeah. She's like racing on a puppy, so. Another try. Oh, it Sorry, shooting out. Okay, here, Dad. Coming out butt first again. What's up? It's coming, then, Dad. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm coming? Mm hmm. Oh, she's always. Hey, would you want to grab me clothes over there? Yeah. Ooh, he's a big one. Holy mackerel. He's a big boy. Let's hope it's a girl since I'm thinking of it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I would. That's why I was about the same thing. <laughs> Sorry. I was uh, taking care of. That's all right. Of Robino. Or, I'm sorry, Robina. Okay, baby. Let's see. Let's get this. Let's get this thing out. Um, all right, Robina. Man. There we go. There you are. Hey, Hi. Oh, my goodness. Another perfect thumbprint. Oh, you're so pretty. Oh. Daisy's tries are so st stunning. Oh my goodness. I'm sure I'm partial, but. It's a boy. boy. Look at that boy. Come here. 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 Come here.
Oh, what a good girl. That's another baby. Another healthy one. Yeah, uh, can you hand me the, where's that, there, that right there? He is a big boy. He is a, he feels awfully large. He's got he a feels, big old head. He feels good thing he came out butt first. <laughs> And see, you know when you said that we had had a butt for, we had a breech presentation uh -huh. before? Yeah. Um, you're right about that. We had the but what I was thinking of was we hadn't had a foot first. Oh, Where I it was see. like paws. Paws, like, then, yeah, extended yeah. backwards. Yeah. Good girl. Way to go. Munch it. Which, if anything, I think that would be easier than oh. what she just did. Yeah. Good girl. Ta -da. But I just noticed, I noticed her butt kind of flexing up and then she had a baby coming out. Daisy, you are the best. You are a rock star. No kidding. Last delivery, she it was a bit tough. Um, to so yeah. now that she's this was puppy number five. So if you've been hanging around with us for all this time, um, and you remember how she was real whiny in those early that yes. was that early <laughs> part of labor, she once she realized that she had puppies coming. Um, she was much, her anxiety really came down. Um, oh, wow. I had I pointed out to you guys, but it was kind of, um, I was also like stepping out of the room at the same time to get Drew, but um, basically what I was trying to say is um, pay attention to how her demeanor changes because once she realizes she's having puppies and she knows what's going on, um, she's not nearly as anxious and stressed. And that's pretty much what happened once, once, um, our first little try girl was born, you know, she's um, girl. much more content. Okay, good girl. Good girl. Perfect. Yeah, okay. Perfect. You did great. Good job. Here. Yeah, say hi. Hi, sweet little boy. Yes. Man, that is a check. That thumb print out. That is just perfect. Man. He's so cute. He is so cute. He's got, he's got the prettiest uh, patches of brown. He's uh, so, his, the markings on his, he's so perfect. I don't know if you can see because of the glare, or shall I? There we go. Are you trying to show them the Yeah, trying the to show brown? them brown, and he's sticking his little tongue out. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? What is this cold world? Okay, buddy boy. Here, you want to come inside? Oh, you know what? We need to change this guy. Yes. This is super wet. I'm this sure. is, yeah. just everything just kind of exploded. In fact, I need to change out my leggings. Oh no! <laughs> All right, here. Um, let's do this. Yeah, because oh. I spilled them. Because Daisy's. Right. <laughs> I didn't. I did not think that that's what happened. Man. Daisy seems to have all of these little teeny tiny puppies that all just like stuffed together in her belly. And they are belly. feisty. They are all like. Just, just like Louie's group. Yeah, exactly. Let them go. All right, come on, baby. Go ahead, let's jump up. You're not having another one, are you? Yeah, you're getting close. Yeah, I was like, going to say, she could be already? because... Yeah, it's getting close, so... Please. Um, Did you take that? Yeah. Oh, this one, too, mate. Go ahead and just put them into the washing machine, please. Daisy is... Or Robin's in the... Yeah, grab that one uh, over there. Go around. Okay. Yeah. And we, we do this... We try to keep things as clean as possible, and... And dry. Um, those of you who haven't seen, we have. Um, oh, yeah. This is a an Ambu bag for if we have a puppy that's having trouble when he's first born and struggling with sure. kind of adapting to newborn life. Yeah. Um, we did have a puppy actually. Daisy's first litter. Her last puppy came out completely still, motionless essentially dead <laughs> and we did not have this and this would have been wonderful to have go ahead and lay down um that puppy turned out okay luckily yeah it was um miss billy little miss billy holy cow look at him go he's just man oh did we weigh him oh yeah weigh him before he starts eating he looks like he's gonna be a, a honker. 178. 178. We already have. We got somebody who's 178. Number two. 
I think it'll be a beast, like, like well, pink. He's already searching out for nipples, like, yeah. not even five minutes old, and he is like, get me on the nipple. It's just like the last group where they are just they're feisty little little pups. There you go, buddy. There's a nipple for you. Oh, yeah. do you think orange would look good on him? Ooh, yeah. Yeah, that would. That would look good, May. Good call. That's a really good color. Oh, wait a second. Okay. Or light green. Shoot. What? Which one's which? <laughs> oh my goodness, the tops of their heads look the very same. Exactly. <laughs> wait, who's who's wetter? Whoever is wetter was just born. I think that one is more Wait, moist. hold on. <laughs> Crap. I, I, I think um, it was him. Wait, I think what? he was just born. I mean, He's dry. That's him. That's him, okay. Yeah. So, well, that would, so that He's would, perfectly dry. Did you already get his weight? Because um, he was the yeah. 176, or 178, yeah. yeah. I got him. Okay, so then the next one. Yeah, he was, he's number two. Yeah, I thought we already had a 178. Okay. Oh, he's 172. Dang. That's weird. <laughs> oh, wait, no, there you go. Pop oh, I'm sorry, 180. Yeah, 180. yeah, I know. <laughs> hey, it's just a little bit of difference. It's cool that they were so Wait, close. so he doesn't have a collar yet? Number two doesn't have a collar on yet? No, we've just kind of been collaring. Okay. We... So we want... Oh, man, number two is... Uh... Let's do a green for one. You want to pick which shade of green would look best? Number two mm -hmm. is... Um, is a yeah. blue, is blue Merle, so... So usually, I mean, it's kind of hard to pick up in the on the camera, but the sunlight glare. Yeah, but um, so blue merle is a recessive trait uh, that you'll see in tricolors, where the black, where the black is not like very jet black. Yeah, I like dark too. Um, it's more of like. Um, and then you gotta grab the orange. It's kind of like a grayish color. Uh, oh, did you? Okay, so you wanted. Oh yeah. I do. You wanted what? Oh, orange, yeah, so. So this is number two. Number two is getting green. I was gonna see who looked better with what. They both look exactly the same, though, I know, so it probably, probably won't matter. Well, so. One's a little uh, bit darker. Number five is darker, yeah. I don't want it to look like Halloween, so. <laughs> Although they're going to be with us over Halloween. Maybe we do want them to be orange. Because <laughs> it's Halloween. I uh, mean, kids are going to be getting ready for trick-or-treating. So orange it is. Yeah. Oh, man. Maybe we should have done orange on Mr. Blackjack. Named him Spooky or something. Oh, dang it. I really like that idea. You want to put orange on him before I fasten it? I don't want to be switching stuff around now. I know. I don't like yeah. it either. I don't like scratching. Yeah, let's, let's, just do, let's just leave it. Oh, man. Yeah, we suck. We, yeah. <laughs> we, We're really bad about thinking of ideas after. That was a bummer. So, all right, so number five is number orange. Number five is orange. And number two is green. They're so little. They're so little, but look at them Robin's go. babies always have um, giant little heads. They do. They're little... Right. Daisy's and Robin's puppies are like exact opposites. Mm -hmm. Robin's yeah. are fluff balls. Yeah. And Daisy's are the petite little. They're, they're lazy fluff balls and yeah. And uh, Daisy's crew is tiny little feisty fighters. And and Robin is always behind on keeping her puppies clean. And Daisy's always My on. My second calf has recessive chocolate allele, chocolate cover instead. Of, oh, yeah, how cool. cool! I've read about that. That is yeah. super cool. That is, uh, I love hearing about that sort of stuff because it's it's not common. Oh. I'd love to see a picture. I wish there was a better way on YouTube for us to like, because um, people have tried to send pictures in the past, and there's no way to. Um, and Daisy is such a good mom. Um, many of you know that we potty train our dogs using pine so they can have these little little pine pellet boxes that they can use indoors. Daisy's such a good mom that when we start potty training her puppies, she helps us and she kind of demonstrates for them and she will encourage them to use it and 
it's really kind of cool. Oh, dang it. Oh, I, uh, Ariana, it's, uh, it looks like you had to go. Um, um, a bummer that we were in the middle of delivering a puppy because she, uh, like, you had uh, gone to go get something and she had subbed and stuff. And so I was just, uh, I had thanked her and whatnot for, for uh, subscribing. Uh, so the comic book G Spot, uh, he, he, he is back. He's the one who, he, who... Dude, you need to come back every, like every single day just so that we can say hi, G-Spot. <laughs> and he, he's the one who donated us uh, 10 bucks. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so... That was you, thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, so. Oh. But he, he asked uh, how many there were because apparently he had to sign off and then got back on. Um, and so we have five now. And Comic book G-Spot, that is the best yeah. username I've yeah, ever heard okay. of. Uh, let's see. Uh, Candy for You uh, is asking uh, Ballpark. She wanted to know. Oops. Um, ballpark figure to purchase. Yeah. Um, so... You're the pra the pricing of cav cavalier puppies can kind of vary, and so here's kind of how I kind of figure out how to explain it. Um, we, we were able to finally get like a, a good estimate of what they should cost when we um, partnered with um, Good Dog. Yeah. They're a they um, they screen breeders and families alike. Um, and they believe in like transparency and health testing and they only they only um, accept breeders that um, follow certain criteria as far as um, ethical breeding and um, good practices and that sort of thing. Um, and so if you're looking for a Cavalier on there where you've got the pre-screened breeders that do the health testing and that sort of thing, um, the range is usually about um, 2,000, 2,500 to like 6,500. Um, 6,500 in my opinion is astronomical. Yeah, that's, that is insane. That's, uh, yeah, so that is a lot. we are on the low end of that. Yeah. We range between like 2,000 2, 000. and 3,000. Yeah. And so that's, um, but, uh, if you go to like, if you're looking on other websites like puppies.com, um, you're gonna probably find ones that are a little bit cheaper um but those are not all of them because i think we found one of our dogs on a listing through there yeah we did um but many of them you'll find for more like 1500 2000 um but more like backyard breeder type situation yeah, or a, a secret puppy mill that is kind of yeah yeah so did you already talk to them about like how to spot no i haven't yeah. I, I haven't yeah, so so if you like, let's say you're you're shopping on um, Puppy.com or Puppy Finder, um, and you're seeing a, a a Cavalier that's priced awesome. It's you know twelve hundred dollars. Um, you know, it, by all means, you know, check it out um, and and talk to the breeder. But there's a few there's good questions you can ask. Yeah, there are some good questions that you can ask to discern if they are a. Uh, puppy mill or like a backyard breeder and it's questions like um you know are you or do you partner with good dog or um uh that was the other really good uh oh it, can you can we come and see where you raise the puppies if they have any hesitation in answering that if they haven't even think about it then that's a red flag because yeah when people ask us if they can come and see it, we we want them to come and see we yeah. want you to come and See, and so if you ask us, then we're more than happy to schedule it. Yeah. So if you bring it up and they're like, oh, well, then that's already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If, if they are hesitant on letting you come over and see their, you know, facility, because, you know, for us, it's our home. Uh, all of our puppies live in our house with us. So, and we, we care for them just like they're our own dogs until families come and adopt them. But if you come across a breeder who is either says straight up no, 
Um, or they insist on meeting you. Yeah, or they insist on meeting you somewhere else, somewhere other than wherever they're raising the dogs. That's, Chances are their dogs are all in kennels. Yeah, so that's just a, a you know something to think about. Um, a, like Elizabeth said, a, an awesome resource is Good Dog. We are very happy that uh, they, you know, it's, it's an application process where we had to apply to Good Dog and then we interviewed with them. Uh, you know, they kind of like took a tour of, of our facility or basically our house and, and we talked to them about how we raise the uh, the puppies. And then eventually, you know, if they approve you, you get the check mark and um, you're allowed to uh, post your your puppies on you're good, allowed like a, a profile page yeah basically. yeah you're allowed a profile page on gooddog.com and so that's an awesome resource um, they have a lot of informational stuff yeah. of like kind of like what we're talking about like things to spot things to look for good yeah. questions to ask yeah um things things that if you see it then go running um, yeah yeah so so please and then lots of information yeah. about the puppies themselves yeah um we really encourage encourage people that are interested in uh, adopting you know one of our dogs, or if you're just looking for a Cavalier or any other type of dog, uh, check out GoodDog.com, and you'll you you know that you will be hooked up with a a good ethical breeder on on GoodDog.com. I guess maybe when someone asks, are we sponsored? That I mean, we're not sponsored, oh. but we're part. Or we're, it's a partnership, so. I mean, I don't know if it's part of the endorse us. Yeah, yeah, okay, it's an endorsement. Oh, are we endorsed? Okay, I guess yeah. that's the question. I don't know if she's got any more in here. Sure. Really? You think she's done? She might be done. Because she's really relaxed. Oh, yeah. Uh, so Heather Spivak says, Good Dog has a really good breakdown of all the costs involved. Yeah. If she is done, that was a quick delivery. It was a very quick delivery. Just to prove we're getting to the... Jesus, it's only 12.15? Oh, uh, SS put up another one, uh, brought up another good point. Uh, SS says, and if they have many different breeds, yes, stay yes. away. That's a, a very good point, SS. That is a that is a that uh, is another red flag, as if they're like, oh, we have Cavaliers, and we German have shepherds. German Shepherds, and Golden Retrievers. That's a, a red flag, yeah. like... Yeah, because, yeah, I mean, our we do Cavaliers, and we read about Cavaliers. Even this morning, I was reading more on mitral valve disease, and we it's our goal to become experts on Cavaliers so that we, we, are, we are sure that we are pairing the best moms yeah. to the best dads to make the best puppies that will be the best pets. So um, we... Oh, that's my train of thought. <laughs> it, like, just left me. Um, what was I saying? You're talking about um, how, you know, if they have a bunch of different breeds, it's bad, but oh, so yeah, we're, yeah. we're trying to be, you want, um, you want to be experts. In... And so if, if you have multiple breeds, it's just not possible to be putting in that sort of time, and let alone, you know, everything we learn about this, we're just soaking up information. If you have to learn about the different breeds, you have to keep all that straight. Man, you yeah. have to you have to make sure you know um, that certain things are for certain breeds. I can't keep our kids' names straight, so <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I do um, five different dog breeds. And so, even like even at your vet's office, it's I try to when I think of it, I always remind your vet about um, some of the diseases that are common with Cavaliers because in vet school they're not. They're taught about all the different animals, but they're not taught necessarily about all of the very specific singular things to yeah. each individual breed. And so um, some of the, like the common ones, um, usually they're really good about, but they might not realize that, um, oh, look, saving patellas in the Cavalier is something we want to x-ray for. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think that she's might be done because she crashed. I don't think that there's do a little palpation. The best feeling is that whenever... I think you're right. I think that might be it. If there's... Oh! <laughs> no. The yeah, best feeling is if there's like a difficult um, 
delivery the puppy. Um, okay, baby. Finally, we'll be, uh, I'll, I'll come out and get some lunch for you, like, okay? Comes better. Yeah. Do you want to meet the Bella baby? Oh, I want to meet the Bella baby. The Bella baby is the only brown and white one. <gasps> the Bella baby is the only Blenheim. She's special. Yeah. Can I hold her? <laughs> well, not yet. Yeah, not yet. Not hold her right. just yet. Yeah, not, not but yet. But that was, that was the girl that was born. That was the second born girl. Yep, that's that's the Bella baby. Can I hold her? You want gloves? These are, gloves They're are a little. Fit, yeah, these are a little too big for you, sweetie pie. These are big, big daddy gloves. She's so stinking cute. She's she got is. two little thumbprints on her head. Oh my goodness. Um, we call her the Bella Baby because um, we have two daughters, and our four-year-old daughter compares the way she understands the puppies is in their fourth order with her <laughs> brothers and sisters, and so the firstborn girl is always her. Her sister May, so that's the May baby, and then the Bella baby is always the second born. Girl. Hey, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, let's see. SS says the Bella baby is gorgeous. <laughs> the Bella baby is gorgeous. Yay! Yay. Hey, stop. Um, <laughs> all right. You said you're hungry, huh? You're hungry for some lunch. Man, I can't believe Daisy delivered. Heather's got a more accurate, but she delivered like yeah. all of them in an hour. <laughs> bang, 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 boom, five yeah, that, puppies. <laughs> that was so good. Stop, 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 stop. And Robin's was like eight hours. Yeah, oh, Robin's, Robin's was, was seven and yeah, a half hours. Yeah, she was. She did, she did go for a long time. And that was all pushing too. It was only like an hour waiting. She was. Oh, she had big puppies and. Hey, you. Uh -huh. Are you having fun? You just gotta make sure. Number four. Mr. Blackjack comes around. He's pretty light. His, his, his like, skeletal, his frame is big. His frame is pretty big, but his, um... Bella. His weight is just... Is he nursing right now? Is he latched? I think so. Yeah, yeah, he is. He's on there. Hey, stop. So at least we know that his, uh... He's got great motivation. Annabelle. Hey, go to the kitchen. I'm hungry. Okay, let's go to the kitchen. Toenails are always so long. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, I wonder if the Daisy Doodle's hungry now. I bet she is. And I'll bet she'll eat. Yeah. Daisy Doodle. And also, we'll get you a new can, sweetie pie. Oh, you want to put her water dish in here? She probably wants. She needs some water. Good call, May, on the orange, because he's super cute with the orange. Yeah. We haven't used the orange in a while, and it looks really good on the tray. Yeah. We used it on Charlie, and it was cute on Charlie, but I think on Blenheim. Well, Charlie, didn't we use green? Oh, we used orange. Didn't Charlie have orange? I thought he had orange. Uh, or no, you know what? We changed had, him. Like, light we changed him halfway at some point. Oh. He had two colors. Yeah, I remember him having green. Can you pause for the Daisy Doodle? Dad, you're going to come with me? Yes, baby, I'm not. Look, there's poop in there. <laughs> That's because it's the litter pan, or the, uh, the pine pan. Yeah, uh, the... That, was, that was how we were able to tell that Daisy was going gonna have her babies. Yeah, babies. She, she went potty in the potty pan, oh. and it was... Oh, it was this one. And out came her water. Came it was her. this one first. Oh, um, Maisie, were you in here? I, told, I was telling Dad about that. I took her outside to potty, and I was really suspicious because she... At first, she just went on the sidewalk the out there and squatted, and she squatted for like 30 seconds and then stood up, and there was just one drop. And I was like, that was weird because it looked like she was the the whole time. She did it like five more times, and then she found a spot. She squatted, and there was this big, loud gush, and she like jumped and did like a turn. And was like, what is that? And so that was really, that's how we knew she was gonna start having them. It's a good dude. It's a good mama, mama Daisy. Dad, you want to hear my breath? Oh, you're so silly. So I think, I think we're, um, I think we've got everybody. Her, her demeanor is much more relaxed now, too. Um, you can probably see how skinny she's gotten. Their, their prego bellies go down pretty, pretty fast once the babies are out.
Hey Cindy, um, so you know, I, I don't know if we still have Louie's uh, weight stuff. We'd have to check, uh, you, know, you know what, we might have it in our, our records. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll uh, see if we can locate that stuff and uh, we can get in touch with you if we find it. Oh, yes, and that's uh, five, five puppies, five little, little pretty puppies. We've got uh, three boys and two girls. Um, four of them are uh, the tricolors, and we've got one really pretty Blenheim girl. Hey, baby. Hey, Daisy. What a good mama. You are so good. What a good girl. You hungry? You hungry? Some food? No? Okay. It's here if you want it, sweetie, honey. Oh my goodness. You did such a great job. <laughs> you tired? on Orange's ears is so short and uh, it's I, I can't it's so weird the color it almost just looks like he doesn't have any fur at all and so it's like his ear is just a, a, a flap of skin I know it sounds weird like a black flap of skin uh, but he does have fur and it feels like uh, peach fuzz Jack, Mr. You want to, do you have a nipple? You good? Yeah, good boy. Holy smokes, you are. Blackjack is like jet black. He is so pretty, man. Orange sleeping with you under your ear. Oh man, I need to go and check out on Agent Orange.
Thanks, sweetie. Oh, hey, Terry. Uh, it's Drew. Uh, so we had um, five puppies. We had uh, three boys and two girls. Uh, four of them are tricolors, and then there's one Blenheim girl. Uh, they were all um, about... Where did the, the weight sheet go? Let's see. Oh, there it is. Um... So most of them uh, were, uh, three of them were uh, 170 or above, or you know, right about 170, um, or 170 grams. And then the Blenheim girl was 142 grams, and the smallest one is Blackjack, and he is... He's really cool. You can't see him right now because of Daisy's covering him up. But he is basically completely jet black, except for he's got just a little bit of white down the middle of his back, and then like a couple other of like white spots. It's really, it's so cool. I've never seen anything like that where he's like basically a black puppy with white spots instead of tries usually being a white dog with black spots. But anyway, um, he is 138 grams, so he's the lightest. However, he is very driven to uh to feed so uh, all of them are uh, latched and are um pretty happy right now uh one's squeaking right now because uh looks like who is that that is our purple girl that was the firstborn uh she looks like she's going for a little uh little adventure looking around so but yeah everyone uh, seems to be doing all right. Oh. Daisy's really good at having her back turned. <laughs> I think I know. She was really like hiding her puppies. Uh, Terry Carney got on and she says, Oh, I missed it. Could someone please catch me up on things? Oh, hi, Terry. Yeah, so I, I told her that we had five pups. How are know. you doing? Uh, she says, thanks. But yeah, I hope you're doing well, Terry. I hope Oliver's doing well. Yeah. yeah. How's it? Oh, Mr. Ollie. Oh, it, she was who I had in mind when we were talking about Orange. Yeah, yeah. With Daisy's other litter, she was, like, obsessive about cleaning them to the point of, like, really upsetting them. They'll stop. She'll, like, be licking them so hard that she'll pull them off the nipple nursing. Oh, oh um, I guess uh, De Denise Pacetti was afraid that she was having another one. Oh, oh, no. Well, one. if look at just looking at her, she has Miss Blenheim just hanging at her butt. Oh, is that what's going on? It looks like she's got one just by her booty. Wait a second. No way. She did just have another one. Oh my god. Miss Pachetti. <laughs> I was Holy like, cow. wait, what's our blonde girl? Why does she just have her butt by Daisy's butt? That doesn't look right. Holy she's crap. Sleeping kind of funny. Oh my god. Well, now we got another girl. Another girl? Yeah, another girl. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, she's beautiful. <laughs> way, way to go, Denise. Thank you so much. Thank you, Denise, for... Uh... Hey, Nisha, Nisha, that's six puppies now. Uh... Terry, you didn't miss everything. Look how beautiful she is. Holy smokes. Wow, she is a pretty girl. Man, I thought that she was all done. She was so relaxed. Oh, man. Good girl. And she's like the same size as that other girl, but she looked a little too wet for my liking. <laughs> and so that's why I was like, hmm, like wait let's a minute. Take a look let's, here. Take a, let's take a peek. <laughs> it's just a little too Can moist. I have a towel. Yeah. Good job, Mom. 
was her. Oh man, someone got got. Yeah, she delivered him or on, delivered her on top of Mr. Green. On top of Mr. Green. Is um, did everything come out, or does she still have like the afterbirth? Um, or did she, she consume all of it? Oh, I'm so not quite wet. sure. Oh, buddy. I believe the after. You were. Oh, and also got. <laughs> oh man. Also got Miss Purple. Miss Purple. They all got. Got. Amniotic fluid bath. <laughs> An amniotic bath. <laughs> An amniotic bath. It's okay. We're just cleaning them up. Oh, you got. It. She did this last time with Billy. This is like the Billy of the. Oh lab. yeah. She like, she got did her little thing where she got all cozy with her five. Yeah. And then or her four. Yeah, her four. And we thought she was all done, done and then uh, then she had a Billy. Yeah. And, and, and Billy, Billy wasn't doing well because since she had been in the birth canal. Yeah. Something. Good job, okay. Daisy. She didn't wait too long, or else we might have had another Billy situation on our hands. Yeah. Look how pretty she is. Thank you, Denise, for for saying, <laughs> hey, take a look there. I think I should have another. Isn't she pretty? <laughs> we'll have to go back and look at the... We're going to have to go back and watch. Because I, uh, I was feeding Agent Orange, and I didn't hear a thing when I was in there. She, so. like, four of these puppies she pushed out without a peep. So now you guys might be able to see a little bit more what I was talking about in the beginning where when she was whining with the contractions, um, you know, when we know she's in labor, it looks like she's in a lot of pain. But if you if you take away that element of knowledge, yeah, of knowing that she's um, she like the whine sounds really not a whole lot different than like when you're stepping out to go to the store and they don't want you to leave. Yeah. Um, and so it's it's much more of an anxiety, stress, um, worrisome sort of whine. And uh, we can usually tell because once that first puppy comes and it's smooth sailing, she knows what's going on. Yeah. She's, um, you may have noticed that she calmed down. She, she and calm, yeah, she calmed down. She, did, she wasn't whining and stuff. She... Look at this little bonus puppy. <laughs> I'm just going to call you little bonus. bonus. Or little bonus girl. Oh, you're a little wet too there, orange. Oh, it's going to be hard to have another orange. Oh, we have Mr. Orange. Yeah. We have Mr. Orange and Agent Orange. <laughs> Make some whiny noise, little fussy noises, though. There she is. Does she have a mohawk? I don't think so. Oh, no. It's just this. Her, it's in a, her coloring is in a swirl. Her, the chestnut is like in a swirl on top of her head. Yeah. That's, that's so cute. Oh my goodness, she's I don't so think pretty. You really need to potty her right now. She so, really need to potty. So three and three. She just wants loves. Oh yeah, let me weigh her. Yeah. So. She she's got she's a pretty good weight. Nice. Dang. One ninety four. Wow. Biggest one. One ninety four. Surprised she came out so yeah, swiftly. No, so so. so Swift and silent. Yeah, where's our clipboard? <laughs> um, I was looking at it. It's right over there. Oops. Oh. Well, let's see here. Let's see. Hey. I like that our two blenums are girls. Yeah. Didn't Missy have a litter where like all the blenums were boys and all the rubies were girls? Yeah. Yeah, she did. Yeah. Is that her? That was her, her second litter. Yeah, that was her second letter. Where the, uh, yeah, all the all the boys were Blenums and all the girls were uh, uh, rubies. Good girl. Hey. Let's see here, who's this? Oh, you clean it up, Blackjack. Let's see here real quick if I don't if you don't mind. Same. Oh man, you are such a hand. Here's Blackjack. There he is. He's oh man, he's, he's like my fave. Jet, jet black colors. I know. It is. He is like. It is like. I and mean, even like her chestnut, for how dark it is right now, it's gonna be super dark when, yeah. when she's older. This is like stealth bomber black. <laughs> I like how it like comes down on his arms. Yeah. And yeah. Then exactly. And even this guy. So it looks like his coloring was painted on with his tail tucked. <laughs> oh, that that's if you lift his tail. Oh my god! Like it stops. <laughs> it stops exactly where he curled yeah. his tail under his butt. Yeah, see. That's hilarious. 
And so it looks like he got like spray painted it with his did. tail down. Oh my down. god! <laughs> That's so cute. That's so funny. Oh, let's see here, sweetie. Can I clean this up real quick? Oh, hey, cutie pie. Yeah, I need to get this off. Yeah, let's get the white one out of here. But did, did we see, like, is she... Is she Pooping. Gonna... Pooping. Pooping. Oh my goodness. Get the poop, get the poop. Man, holy smokes. Brand new poop. Oh, goodness. Didn't even have to get on the nipple. Oh, no, we got poop on that. Oh, goodness. Sorry guys, hold on, hold on. This is a very colorful litter. Yeah, no kidding. Very colorful litter. Okay, oh, good, sweet boy, sorry. Um, Should I kind of palpate her and see? If... Yeah, I would palpate her. Um, our sire is, our stud dog is a Blenheim and his chestnut is lighter and he has quite a bit of white. So his Blenheim puppies usually are lighter and have kind of this, a more white appearance. And so this little girl, she is so pretty, because we're not quite used. We're not used to uh, little little blenums with so much pretty brown. Yeah. Good girl. Oh man, sweetheart, you got. Oh, are you just? Oh, yeah. What's that? Cow print puppies. Heather says. <laughs> They do like like I little mean, cows. They do, yeah, they do look like little moo cows. <laughs> little Mr. Blackjack, he look, he's, looks like a little moo cow. Sweetie, hold on. Whoa, you're squishing them. <laughs> you're squishing you guys them. can't see it, but she's doing what I was talking about, where she just kind of lays on them to. She offers her nipples, but because she's so small, she has a hard time kind of bringing them, bringing herself to them without just oopsies, <laughs> without just sitting on them. We'll just leave this where it is, and yeah, I just leave this one is way better than the other one. It's saying it's the heat. Oh, we transfers. Over. We've used the other one a lot, and so I'm sure it's kind of like I'm worn get out. One so that she can come and see her. Let's see here. Yeah. Yeah. Nipples. I'm just going for you, new, new girl. What's up, new girl? Like, I think she's having a moment. Yeah. Denise, th thank you so much, Denise. That was that's oh, awesome. She's so isn't she dark pretty? and pretty. She's big. She's big too. She's 194 grams. That's, Dang. That's the biggest one. I don't think that's the biggest daisy puppy. Yeah, that's the biggest daisy puppy we've ever had. She came out, it was a lot like Billy. You remember when we had Billy and we thought Daisy was done and we were just kinda like everybody was settling in and then then Billy came out. And she doesn't like she exactly doesn't. what happened. But here, she, she also doesn't look like a stereotypical daisy puppy. She yeah. looks like a robin puppy. She really does. That's a good. Point. I'm gonna take a short video. Okay. Come on, Willis. There you go, Blackjack. Come on, Blackjack. No, no, no. You guys are so silly. So there's three girls and three boys. Three girls, three boys. Three girls, three boys. We have a two Blenheim girls and then one tri girl. And then the boys are all tri colors. Yep. And a couple of the boys are, um, here's a blue Merle. He is like very blue Merle. Actually, there's a girl that's a, uh, got a little bit of blue Merle too. She's over here. Or a little Merle, I guess. The, yeah. the female tri color is beautiful yeah she's right here she's super pretty and black he's my favorite he is so handsome that color is just amazing i have a feeling i know um depending on how the families go judging by um what they've expressed to their uh -huh. i think i know who is going to opt for purple oh yeah like, do you, um, uh, 
Um, and so, if they get an opportunity, if they're right. able to, I'm sure that yeah. that's who they will choose. Because their, their their preference order was like first it was try girl, uh, then try boy, and then let them girl. Yeah. No, good job, little girl. I did not expect her to look like that. I know she's like, so I told dark. Her, yeah. <laughs> isn't she? Oh, she's so cute. She's got yeah some super dark coloring. Oh, baby. So, like, I kind of did a double take. At first, I just thought it was her. Right, yeah. And I was like, why are you laying back here? Right. Like, you're going back in. Oops. Oh, oh, she says, ouch, that hurts. It's okay. It's okay. Like, something I'm doing hurts? Yeah. Weird. That's... Weird. Maybe she's just sore. Yeah, I was just wondering if I... Yeah, now she looks done because her belly's sinking in. Yeah. I did wonder... I did think that it was possible it could be another puppy, but we always think there's one more and then there isn't. Yeah, we like we did that with Robin, where I was feeling around, I was like, I, I swear I feel another one, and then she was completely finished. Yeah, it and felt she, like another one. Yeah. Her behavior was so... Well, now we know that about Daisy, her, in the future, whenever we think she's done, she had like 75% chance that she got one more. Um, Alright, so let's put the... Um, White one on her. I'm so glad that all these puppies came out healthy. And so <laughs> De they are all healthy. And Denise strong. says she made no noise at all. She readjusted herself and raised her tail. <laughs> <laughs> that was like the laziest birthing. <laughs> then she began licking like mad uh, back there, and I just knew. <laughs> came out smooth as silk. <laughs> <laughs> So oh my god, you guys you guys are killing me. <laughs> I love the, you see how she does this? They're, uh, she's keeping them warm, but she's also kind of protecting and yeah. letting everybody know that they're her babies and she'll let the mama bear out at any time if she needs to. And it also is a way she can kind of, she can rest her eyes, but still know that they're right there and know if somebody crawls away. <laughs> um, SS says, wow, so 14 puppies total. <laughs> We've got, or six, now I guess we're at 13. So yeah, uh, SS, we, it'd be 13 because uh, we lost Mr. Brown. Unfortunately, he did not, he didn't make it. Um, and uh, uh, Agent Orange is still with us. So um, Robin's litter is seven and uh, Daisy's is six. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, I said 14 would be the high, is the high end of the range. Yeah, and uh, Ariana Baker, she's uh, back again. Oh, hi, Ariana. Yeah. And <laughs> thank you, she says, uh, your puppies are so sweet. Yeah, thank you so much. You uh, While you were gone, I think we probably had another uh, couple, and then we had thought that uh, Daisy was done after she had delivered five of them. And so we were kind of like, you know, going about, I was thinking, I was looking at the, uh, Just the other, catching up on what we're... yeah, we were catching up on the other things we needed to do. Like I went and, uh, fed one of the puppies from the other litter. Uh, Elizabeth was going and taking care of our kids. And then all of a sudden, uh, Denise online sent a couple of messages. Like, I think she's having another, I think she's having another. And we came back over here and we're like, Oh no, we think we're done. And then Elizabeth looked cause uh, Daisy was kind of hiding, and sure enough, there was a brand new puppy just on the back side like, of her. Wait a second, that puppy looks a little wet. <laughs> yeah, that, that puppy looks awfully wet for her being, <laughs> being done, so. Well, I had to do a double take because because the bag and everything was off. It, it wasn't like a fresh birth, you Yeah, know? yeah. Where, she, like, the other ones where we lifted her leg and they were still in the bag. In the bag, yeah. She, she, she was Daisy, Daisy the bag. got it done all on her own. Yeah, she did it all on her own. Oh, good Daisy. Yeah. Um, Except her feet were still inside. Yeah. I hit a pull her feet up. Oh, really? Oh, jeez. Yeah. She'd done everything, but her feet were still there. Uh, Linda Edmondson, sorry, uh, just joined. What is the boys versus girls? So we've got six puppies, uh, three boys, three girls. Um, for the girls, there are two Blenheims and one tricolor, and then all the boys are tricolors. And they are so beautiful. Oh. They are so pretty. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, easy. I guess easy. we have to tell Bella that yeah, 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 Bella Babies is the only 
blend them now. Yeah, you're good. You got you got her. <laughs> you got her. So. Oh, she's so cute. Could that be Bella's puppy? <laughs> so the when mom when your shadow was over her, the white looked like lilac oh. against her. Um, against her, her uh, this yeah. color. Yeah, I could see. Yeah, what you're talking about. Or it looks a little bit. When the light's not glaring. When the light's not glaring, and then you've got this kind of reflecting. You know why he's so pretty is because he's got that jet black gene, and there's so much of his black. Yeah, he's, that's why it's so pretty. Cause it's not just the spotted. Yeah. Oh, I love his. I love how it looks like he was just painted. With his <laughs> that's just so funny. I wouldn't have noticed that had you not pointed it out. Well, you, I think you would have see, noticed this because you can see when he, his tail pulls out, you can start seeing the way yeah. underneath. <laughs> that's so cute. That's so cute. Here, sweetie. She, she wants the nurse, baby. She wants the nurse. So she's a little chilly. Have they been using these? Oh, the real ones, Mr. Yes. Green is. Yeah, he's gone. locked on. Yeah, I'm actually, I trying to guide her to that one because I had. There, she's going for a different one. Yeah, she's going for this one. Looks like. Oh boy. Children. I hear children's. Oh, are you going for this one instead? Okay, good girl. <laughs> Whatever makes you happy and fills your tummy. Did we get her weight? We got her weight right. Yeah, she was the heaviest one. It was like 196 yeah. or something like that. 194. Oops. <laughs> Chicky says, good lord, how do you guys take care of so many puppies? I have one kid, one husband, and one cavalier. Congratulations. It's uh, it's very tiring, but we, we have a lot. We have a lot more fun with it than we really thought we did. Because when, when Drew and I first got together, he made very clear, like, we would never go over a certain amount of animals or pets, like when we got married. Uh, and the Cavaliers really turned him. Yeah, they did. They, they changed my mind. I was, I was so anti-dog for the longest time. Uh, and yes, Ariana, our... Uh, we were anti-having dogs. Yeah, our, uh, our daughter is in here with us. They were asking if there was a kid in here behind the, behind the camera. Yeah. Yeah. He's in here the whole time. It's uh, our daughter, um, May. Yeah, she's 12, and she's... Uh, she helps us out. She's a big help when yeah. when we've got moms having babies, especially when Drew and I are kind of running around. And especially, too, when we have um, puppies that need a little bit of assistance, then, then May kind of steps in and fills our role and yeah. does the doggy doula thing. Yeah. I feel like we're doulas. That's what we are. We're doggy doulas. Yeah, we're the doggy doulas. She's really sensitive. I want that. Well, that last one was really big, so I wonder if. Why did she move she, when she, she seemed to care? I know, it's just. She's so tired. I mean, this must have wiped her out because it was. Oh, but that puppy, the reason it took so long is because so her big. body was just pushing. She wasn't even pushing, and it was like her contractions just moving along. Yeah, her. Yeah, she's probably exhausted from everything. Um, that was the fastest delivery in the. What did that take an hour? Six puppies in. Like when they when the first between the first and one yeah. landing and the last one landing. Heather, Heather, you're gonna have to give us some time. <laughs> yeah, some actually, here. yeah, Heather, if you're still on. What, what time did the first puppy land? And what time the first puppy was like eleven fifteen, right? And yeah. What the last one? I'm so curious. Yeah, if you if you have an actual time on that was fast when the first one was born and when the last one was born. Um, I'm hoping Heather is still on. Um, yeah, Ari uh, so Ariana is 10. So she's uh, the one that, that, that just uh -huh. uh, uh, subscribed to us and everything. So thank again, thank you, Ariana. Yeah, uh, our daughter is yeah, 12. Yeah, our daughter is 12. And then we have an 8-year-old son. And he doesn't help out quite as much as his <laughs> mate does. What's that? He yeah, he pops in every now and then. Oh, awesome. Thank you, Heather. Thank you so much. Blackjack is so pretty. I know. He's like... I'm gonna have a... 
hard time letting him go because he's Same. he's so pretty and so unique. But I really didn't expect um, surprise puppy to be like that, mm. to look like that. Yeah. It's so dark because I don't think Daisy hasn't Daisy like not had a puppy with chestnut markings, like chestnut dark color. Um. Yeah, because. I think where we have two Blenheims in her last litter. One was Billy and one was Louie. Yeah, and they were both pretty light. They're both pretty light. Yeah, like this. This is pretty. The the dark is is uh, different. Um, Heather Spivak says that the first one was at ten fifty eight and twelve forty six was the last one. Holy cow! So. Man, oh man, yeah, less than two hours. I gotta go and tell mom. Wait, yeah, that's right. Hey, Elizabeth. Heather, see you back. Did it come through? First one was one at 10.58, last was one at 12.46. 10.58, 12.46. Sorry, I That's, that's right, Cindy. Thank you so much. We forgot Nemo. Nemo was also... Oh, yeah, yeah, Nemo. With the, yeah, he was also... Uh, the man. How could we forget? <laughs> we babysit him. Or we uh, I, I, I just him. Said, I was about to say the same thing. How could I forget Nemo? We pet sit him sometimes, so... Yeah, we, we puppy sit him. Nemo mm. is... Uh, Nemo is so sweet because he... We hung on to them for like an extra three or four days, and then um, like three weeks after that, they needed they were going on like a weekend trip, and so we watched him for the weekend, and he was in heaven seeing Daisy again. Yeah. He went absolutely nuts. Daisy was kind of like, mm, yeah, good to see you, and but he was just he was so happy. super excited, so, super happy, and that was actually when I went and got our newest female for our our moms. Remy, and so she was about the same age as Nemo, and they made good buddies over that weekend. <laughs> they really so now did. Nemo visits once in a while and plays with his new friend. <laughs> Remy and Nemo, yeah, they, they're, they're close to the same age, right? Yeah. I'm so proud of little Daisy Doodle. Yeah, she, 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 she was like so anxious and scared in the beginning, so worried. She handled that like a trooper. You're such a good girl. I pull this Ariana up. says she likes your shirt, by the way. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, so Heather says that they were almost every 20 minutes, except for the two that were like at once. <laughs> <laughs> I love how she's got her nose tucked between the Tuck two of them. Yeah. Is that uh, Blackjack on the left? Yeah. Man, he is. I'm going to have a hard time letting him go. Letting him go because he. We the, could keep him for a stud. The coloring is so unique. I want to try stud. Don't but with all of our Blenheim girls. No, stop saying that. <laughs> I think you're going to. Because we have so many Blenheims and um, we we're looking to upgrade. Or stud. Oh, jeez, that's a good point. Oh. Well, we can't, we can't. He just, he, he just couldn't mate with. He just, he, he only wouldn't be able to mate with Daisy. With Daisy, yeah. Oh, But man. we have Macchiato. Oh, my God. 
Spike. <laughs> Spike's a good boy. Spike is a good boy. Well, actually, I guess it'd be... If we retired Spike, he would be... <laughs> Yeah, we would just cut off his balls and <laughs> invite him to hang He's out. Say, Spike, you've done your duty. We're Had your fun. Putting you out to pasture. <laughs> putting your, your testes out to pasture. Uh, you can't yeah. keep him though, because don't we, um, if we get a dry stud, don't we want to bring new genes? Well, so it's kind of like how you start when it's how you create like a, your own genetic yeah. family line, which is what like ideally we want to start doing because yeah. our dogs are a certain standard that we have come to expect. And so we will start merging basically. Um, like if she has a puppy that we really like, like, like him, for instance, we can hang on to him and then breed him with Paris. Pom pom. He just can't breed with Daisy, mm -hmm. and but it adds a little bit. Um, it adds some more variety. Oh. When when Spike is the father of so many litters, um, the Blenheims, you know, the Blenheims often look oh, pretty you know similar. What? He would look really good with uh, Paris because they both have so much of their. Um, I think he and Paris would pair nicely. Their it's dark man, color. They, really they have so much of their dark color that it would like, it would mix well. Yeah, I think so too. I'm so glad we got Paris. Yeah. She's such a good dog. Paris she is, is like, she embodies all the amazing things about Cavaliers into one dog. <laughs> she really does. Daisy's like I want to bring her balloons or something. <laughs> I know it sounds stupid, but you know, like how oh, when there's something exciting going on, you're like, oh, we should we should do something for them. I feel like we should bring her balloons or chocolates or chocolates. Okay. chocolates. It's a girl and a boy and four more. It's a girl and a boy and a girl and a boy. You know what? We and should give her a lot of peanut butter. Ooh, that's a good idea. Oh, peanut butter cake. Yeah, that would be Daisy's, Daisy's idea of a, of a, a good job delivering six babies. She's such a good natural mom. I think I'm, I'm convinced that her mom was a really attentive. Yeah, I think so mom. too. Because, I mean, she's, uh, I love her so much. Oh, well, you know what? Hmm. We should do a um, uh, a bowl with peanut butter on one side and treats on the other. Yeah. Um, I'm going to put her orange in here. Daisy, do you want some water? I think she's like, honest to God, passed out, and I don't want to wake her up. She, I think she's just so tired. She just, her body's just like, all right, time to sleep now. Yeah, yeah, because she was up a lot last night. Yeah, she kept coming to me and pawing at my face. <laughs> oh. I didn't tell you about that. No. I kept waking up and she'd paw at my face and I'd open my eyes. And you know how when you're laying in bed asleep and so with the dog standing over you is a little jarring when you open your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Because her big old bug eyes. Are yeah, her bear bug eyes. <laughs> I'm awake. <laughs> I am uncomfortable. Can you help? Puppy fuzz. Man, what a good girl, Daisy. What a good girl. Blackjack looks so similar to Daisy because Daisy's what? fur is You're right. like jet yeah, black too. Different. She's got a lot of it. But he just looks so similar.
Uh, I'm gonna go get uh, some of like the lubricant that I've got out in the uh, garage and spray that. Okay. It's driving me crazy, so.
double check everything down here. A little bit of bleeding, which is to be expected. They be bleed kind of like people do after birth, but um, interestingly, they don't bleed nearly as much. More than anything, we're just trying to keep it from getting messy. Oftentimes, they'll get so focused on their babies that they'll start neglecting themselves. Um, like when we had Robin's puppies, um, you may have seen how we had to pick her up and take her outside because she just wouldn't leave the pool. And pretty soon we'll do the same with Daisy here because as you can probably tell, she um, would not willingly go outside. She doesn't even look up when she hears the door. Daisy, you want to go outside? <laughs> We're going to make you. Although we do have the, the potty pan over here, so... Um, Daisy's potty trained at the pine and we've got, um, one of those pans right over here. And so we can potty her and see if she'll just go there. She doesn't have to leave the house. That's how she would prefer it. Sweetie. Everybody's trying to get some milk, I think. Can you lift your head? I think everybody's trying to get to the good stuff, sweetie. Sometimes when they're holding their heads over them, they're, this is a sort of protective thing. She's, this isn't trying to keep them warm. This is her, like, she's hearing the noises. Drew's working on something. She hears that, and so that's kind of why she, or likely why she lifted her leg and kind of brought it over to kind of see. She's just trying to make sure that she's got everybody with her and accounted for while she's hearing those strange noises. Make sure everybody's nursing if they want to nurse, but I can't. I can't really tell with how she's laying. Good girl, she's got her other elbow. The way she's laying, she looks kind of comfortable, but she's supporting herself like entirely with this elbow. She's holding herself upright over here, so she's got to be getting tired. Then you won't get so hot either. Sorry. This is what we gotta do. We gotta get some of this good colostrum. Out of boy. Out of boy. Um, 
one's me. These hind nipples um, have the really, really nice, thick, fatty, nutrient-rich um, milk. I mean, the other the other ones are good too, of course, but um, their their hind nipples fill with a lot more colostrum than the others do, and so in these first hours after they give birth. We try to get each of the puppies on these hind nipples, um, at least initially. And then if we have any small ones, we'll put them on and we'll keep them on the real fatty ones. It's kind of nice because, you know, we know that um, it's sort of like, uh, it's sort of like having two different types of milk where we can have the regular milk and the, uh, the enriched milk with better and more stuff for our little ones. But other than that one little guy that I just think he's like a gray, Mr. Gray Goose just needed some more room. Cause Daisy was getting pretty full. That's Mr. Black Belt or Black Jack. Which means, and of course you're on that, my top nipple. Him on that nipple and you on the fatty one. So you back there. There you go. There you go, bud. You get it. when we're here and able to do this all this sort of stuff for Daisy and and Robin or you know whoever it is that whoever the mom is um, it, not initially it took some time but as you can see she just goes to sleep and lets us do whatever with her first litter um, she was much more watchful but um, now they they trust us enough and I just think that that's because of our, you know, we, all of our dogs that we breed are all of our, they're all pets. We get them um, with the kind of the mindset that we would like to, um, would like to raise puppies, but if it doesn't work out, we, we still like, we want our, our Cavaliers. And so um, Daisy is a, Daisy is a really, really good one, and she's she's really attached to she's a she's very much a people a people cavalier. Yeah, clip that nail. Oh, she's my doggy. My doggy. I missed one of your nails. I missed this one too. Little Miss White is so pretty. What do you think about that? Well, now I'm not going to know if a burglar tries to come in and kill me. Because I can't hear. Don't <laughs> <laughs> hmm. yeah. no worry, we'll still hear the front door. This little orange one with his thumbprint, he his face reminds me of Frankie. Of how He's I got like Frankie. the the Frankie girl. Yeah. So I just want to make sure Mr. Black is. 
went away. And it was it was Daisy's puppies that um, Robin, our other mom, with the puppies. Uh, Robin was the wet nurse for Daisy's first litter, um, except she had five, not six, in that litter. Oh man! You gotta start. See so, yeah, how she's holding her leg up over them. You gotta start pumping uh, Daisy's bowl through here. I know. Gotta pack. Well, should I? Should I give her more of the, the wet gravy food? The, um, this, this she hasn't eaten. I mean, she'll, she'll eat anything that she's not supposed to. She like our kind up, of food. When she wakes up, we'll try and give her some food. Oh, beautiful. Holy cow. That's uh, nice. Well done. That's nice. <laughs> yeah. She's so skinny already, Daisy. You need to eat more, Daisy Doodle. I know. She just. She really did. Spit. It's so. It's funny that I didn't mention that that was on her first litter, and I'm sure she, she turned around and does it again. I sure as. Sure as heck. Sure as heck. But rightly, because then I did not expect that after that first one was still going. Yeah, I couldn't. That was. I felt like that one was just like not. I was afraid it was like a really big one. Right. You're going to be calling the vet. You're going to be trying to get a whole litter of puppies out.
signed it. You signed it. It sticks. It sticks. Or
how Daisy does this where she like curls all the way around and then makes it almost kind of difficult to assist her. Oh, yeah. Yeah, where she, uh, it's almost like she's hiding them. Oh, is the Bradley boy a uh, blackjack? Oh my god, if he is, then we have to keep him. He's the third born boy. Blackjack is right here. There's the blood on the ground. This is a surprise puppy that we didn't think was coming. The whitish pink. The the one with the, the white collar. Looks like a whitish pink. A really bright pink with a white. Is Black Jack with a black collar? Yeah, Black Jack is that guy. He's almost fully black. I know, he's, he's so pretty. 
Imagine he was fully black. That, um, that's actually, there are some cavaliers that come out um, as like black and white, not like a true tricolor. You're not hanitized, don't touch. You haven't hanitized. Aww. You're cute. See how dark as black is? Oh my gosh. That's a big black spot. Oh, that's what we're having for dinner. She's making him go potty right now. Uh, when they're little like this, this is pretty much the only way they go potty and poop. Um, Mom licks them and the massaging, the massage from her tongue stimulates the reflexes to let go of the urine or fecal matter. I'm trying to be tactful. <laughs> massaging action of her tongue. I'm trying to be clinical. Dad, try and find us. Okay, so it's gross. Yeah, you can. Brandon, what do you think about having um, gravy on your vegetables? Biscuits and gravy. Or just like the biscuits and gravy. Dad, come and find me. Hi. Hey, guys, not so well. Yeah, puppies, yes, hey. puppies are brand new. You gotta be quiet in here. Can we talk about dinner out in the dining room?
Daisy Doodle. We've got some puppies over here. Oh, they're so cute. What does TRI mean? What does stand TRI stand for? He's behind. Oh, another one is trying to get up through her armpit. It's Mr. Blackjack. Mm -hmm. I thought he was born two hours ago. Oh, he's so. Mm. Oh no. Oh no. He's so oh. awesome. Oh, can we not sell Blackjack? <laughs> you like Blackjack too? Yeah. Whenever I want a puppy, everybody says no. But when Dad wants a puppy, everybody wants the puppy. <laughs> when Mom wants a puppy. It's because Dad usually doesn't want puppies. Can we not sell blackjack? I'm gonna take him. him. Well, we'll see. We'll see, brother. He's a burly boy. Is he? Yeah. Did you look? Yeah. No. Is he? Is he really the third born boy? Yeah, I don't know. Mr. Blackjack was the fourth born. <laughs> Who's that? Good? I... Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. You are. You are quite whiny. You're quite fussy. Yes, you are. Is it a chubby one? No, oh, he's not chubby. He's just he's just fussy. fussy. Where do we keep uh, rabbits puppies? Oh, they're in the uh, mom's bathroom. Mom's bathroom. I'm sorry, Daisy. I got them over here. Is Blackjack the Bradley boy? Cause he was born Let fourth. See. He was well, born fourth. He was born fourth, but is he the third boy? Is the question. Third uh, boy, fourth puppy boy. Uh, no, he was the second born. Uh, mm -hmm. So the third born boy is... Four? Oh, he's fourth, but... Black. But, I know, but black. But see, so the first male was uh, the green collar. The second male was black collar. And then the third male was orange collar. So this is the Bradley boy. Yeah, I wanted black. I know, I know. Plus, my favorite color is black. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's one of my favorite colors. <laughs> Why does it depend on the uh, third? What's that? Why does it depend on the third? What do you mean, depend on the third? Like, since... Because you, know, you are the third born boy. No. The third is white. No, the third born boy. The third boy, the third boy born. So, Philip was the first boy. Yeah. Carter was the second boy. You were the third boy born. No, I thought that was Matthew. No, Matthew was the fourth. Matthew, yeah, Matthew, you dude. Yeah, Matthew, Wait, yeah. What? Yeah, and May was the first born girl. Bella was the second born girl. So, purple is May. Magenta yeah. is Bella. Yep. Then which one's Matthew? Matthew doesn't have one because there's no there was not a fourth boy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in love with this little tri girl. Oh yeah. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be taking so many photos and videos. <laughs> oh, Daisy. Can I make a? Feed you. Can I make a? She's tugging at the Jack's cord again. No 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 no. What? 
Is she eating a puppy? No, mm. she's just trying to, to clean up his So, um, I mentioned earlier about how um, sometimes the moms will get, like, hyper-focused on their cords, kind of gnawing them back to, to their bellies. To their skin. And so, that's what will, like, what will happen is after delivery in these hours during the whole bonding process she'll um check them again and she'll start getting picked back right back up where she left off nope. and start chewing nope. at them again nope um once they start drying up a little bit she kind of forgets yeah, about it that. but as long as they're still stringy and hanging she's gonna she's gonna, she's gonna keep gnawing at them oh, i love you i love you too buddy i love you dad i love you too, I love all of you. Can you stop? Yes. Oh, you stay out of that mess. Let's see if you are. Yours looks pretty good. Uh, can I read the comments? No. Not right now. Dang it. Magenta, yours looks pretty long. Oh my goodness. White is a chunky. Beautiful. She's beautiful, but she's a chunky monkey. Have you felt her? Mm-hmm. Could be so chunky, oh monkey. Goodness. She could be a boulder. She could be a boulder. A boulder it ain't even uh, like. I think May uh, read uh, like one of my com. Uh, I'm really not so loud. Yeah. Shh. Why were you voice? Always like when they're like unique. Yeah. I like when they're perfect, and then they're and they're also unique. Where they're like classical, and then yeah. they've got something different. She's so dark. Yeah. Did you have a different daddy? <laughs> <laughs> Did Mama hook up with the milkman? Mm, yeah, I was about to say the same thing. Did he hook up with the with the mailman? Let's see. No. I don't think so, because, uh, um, I think it, like, Har or not Harlan, but, yeah, well, yeah, Harlan, but, um, in her other litter, uh, oh, yeah. she had, um, some one of her blenums had that really dark. Yeah. I'm thinking of Harlan, but, um, that's not who I'm, I swear Daisy had a, like, that's okay. Was it Harlan? Harlan is Robin's. Oh, that's right. Harlan had the mohawk like purple princess does. <laughs> I love you, Mom. I love you, Dad. I love you too, brother boy. Fall asleep, Dad? Mm, yes, I'm very tired. Very tired after taking care of Mr. Mr. Agent Orange. Will you stop focusing on that? <laughs> Daisy, out of all of them, seemed to get to get like most obsessed with the cord. Yeah. It's like she wants to tear it off. Like she's gonna chomp at it until 
Oh, she's gonna chomp at it until it's gone. Are you, bad? Are you cleaning butts? Oh, we'll see if you're cleaning butts. <laughs> she loves to lick that booty. Lick that booty. Not as much as Robin, though. This time around, anyway. Hey, Dad. Hey, Brad. Can I make a YouTube short about Daisy and the puppies? Because Mom already said yes. She, she didn't say yes. Huh? She did not say yes. Yeah, she did. Well, okay. I asked her and she said yes. You can use Then why are you asking me? Because I need the full empty to make it. I mean, Dad's saying no that I can't make a short. Did you I'm tell him that you could? Well, I don't know if he does. Oh, okay. I thought that you said no to him. No, my brother's fine. Yeah, it's fine, Dad. What are you gonna make? I'm figuring out what to spell for the video. Like, we're going to be switching cameras for like Daisy and Robin or. Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm gonna post it, Dad. Mm. Wanna see it? I already uploaded it. 
Nu ce? Can I have a little soup? I'm gonna do dinner here pretty soon, buddy boy. We're gonna make a big thing of French fries and cheeseburgers. And hot dogs. French fries and hot dogs? Yeah. 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 Uh, I think it's called Bucket. Yeah. Uh, we're playing Bucket now mm -hmm. in school. Are you a bucket filler? I really uh, like Bucket, mm -hmm. and someone got a uh, really bad luck. Mm. Uh, my friend, his name is Jensen. He's eight years old, and he's like three feet. <laughs> he's small for eight years old. Yeah. Um. And and he got uh three hundred fifty nine. Oh. I only got uh, 4.4K. Someone, I'm not even joking, someone got 100 million. Jeez. Yeah, in just like three or five minutes. Huh. Sheesh. I love you. I'm gonna pull to my room. Oh, hang on. Who are you? Hi, I love you.
their belly button grown. He's trying to get out. He's trying to come see you.
You have such pretty, pretty babies, Daisy. I want to show them to everybody. Drew pointed out that we're going to have a little magenta, magenta mini. She's like just as dark as magenta is. Fewer spots. Of our moms, um, I would say Daisy is probably like the most um, like involved, active. She pays very close attention to her puppies. And with it being her second group, she kind of remembers the ropes. Daisy, um, she kept her puppies very, very, very clean. Oftentimes, like, their poo after like a couple of weeks will start kind of staining their butts just because they poo probably like every 30 minutes um, once they get eaten. 
every hour and a half. Um, but Daisy keeps them, she keeps them spotless. They don't, they, I don't remember her other litter ever getting the little stains on their fur. No, leave the cord is good. The cord, <laughs> she's going back to the cord. And if like she keeps tugging at it, she can make it start bleeding again. And we really hate clamping them because the clamps are big and bulky. They're like this big and they're, I mean, they're just like clamps that we put on people. And so, you know, then it's jutting out and they're trying to crawl around each other and it's hanging off of their cord. And so we try to avoid having to clamp them at all costs. Because she's so petite, she just kind of, she just ends up laying on top of them when she's reaching around for her to lick and clean. Lick, lick, lick.
she kind of reminded me of uh, Mr. Gray just then. She's like the same size as Gray, number eight, in Robin's litter, and then with the white collar. Um, I kind of, that was really weird. She's like the same size, too. She's 194. And he just, he's just over 200. She's been calling him Blackjack. He's gonna be really pretty. He's a blue merle. He's a blue merle. Tricolor. She's cleaning. Him and the green one look a lot alike. They look a lot alike.
you're gonna be so lucky. Samurai. Drew calls him Black Jack. He, this one, and um, orange color, they are blue merles. Orange and green are very, very similar. He's so pretty, this guy. He's got like a jet black coat.
The purple stuff thing got off. Little lady, that is where you came out. You're not going back in. I think this is what you're looking for.
girl. Oh, girl. Daisy, girl. You're skinny mini. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> he didn't like that too much, huh? But that's okay. You can keep eating. They'll be fine. Once she finishes eating, I'm going to give her some water, or at least try to get her to drink some water, and then I'm going to force her to go outside. She will not want to, especially, uh, I mean, she delivered her last puppy only three hours ago, so usually like the first 12 hours, they, they'll just hold it if you let them. even after the first 36 hours. You got a full little belly. Can you see how full her belly is? When they got full bellies, they look like pears. on him. Oh, Daisy. I'll refill that for you. I'm going to show you how to drink some water. Come drink some water. Daisy Doodle. Come on, drink some water. Daisy. Daisy. Come on, drink some more. All right, well, you are 
gonna go outside though. Now this little, they have a tendency to just kind of fall over or like tip over. <laughs> or fall backwards. All right, Daily Doodle, time to go outside. Yeah, I know. Come on, we're going outside. Come on. Oh my goodness, you're so light. You're so little.
Sugar girl is in. Where's the sugar girl? <coughs> more food.
crazy as it has become. I put them on the heating pad to take her outside and she's just laying on the pad like that. Now I should get a hot baby doodle. Swap it over to. Yeah, I know. I know it's been here. <clears throat> it's been a long day. So. Oh, that her milk is really coming in. Yeah. Who needs milk? Silly, you silly girl, you chewed more of his umbilical. What? Well, you're hungry right now? They've all been They're eating. Yeah, they've all got full bellies. Oh my gosh, yeah, good. Mr. Uh, Blackjack has a full belly, it looks like. Yeah, I feel Miss, Miss White. Yeah, uh, she has her belly. She's got the big pair. So in love with her. This group is gonna be it's gonna be a great group. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to doing that. <coughs> good boy. That's a good boy. Yeah. Yeah, and they're all feeding like they've already been doing it for a day. I feel like the, this is where we were at with Robin's litter on day two. <laughs> <laughs> we already have so many worms. She's gonna be so pretty. Yeah. They're all gonna be.
so good, like, I hope it will be peaceful and she won't be in pain. She'll be okay, and then somebody fusses. Once she let it go, they fuss again. She sits up and figures out who it is, who it isn't, just let me know. Yeah, I've seen her do it over and over and over again. I thought at first, like, maybe it was a fluke, and, but no, she, she just did it again. And now she's starting to clean up, so I'm making her get off the heat. <laughs> Everybody's all happy right there, but it's too hot for Mama. Mama, keep you warm over here where it's cooler for Mama. <coughs> Miss Miss. Keep wanting to call her Miss Snow White with the white collar. Yeah. Oh, she's so pretty. Really, you think Bella's too young for a puppy? Want to keep her? Cute. You're such a good mom. You had a really good mom. I gotta get a video of this. They're so sweet. They're all like napping together on her as a pillow. Um, she got off with a heating pad. I moved her. I made her. She was starting to pant.
Someone. You're such a good mom. You're just a good mom to a fault. You're such a good mom. Sorry, sweetie.
for water dishes. It's a little deep, so I'm just gonna put it on the outside of the pool so that puppies don't fall into it. Set up with the blanket and thing. Baby noodle. This for you play? Mm, water. <laughs> 